Ash, how are you? Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Uh-huh. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay. No, I, this is not helpful to me. I'm not, <laughs> not getting anything from this. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay. Great. Um, boop, boop, okay. Boop, well, and it hasn't stopped yet. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I don't know. You've probably never streamed before, but it's good to sort of like segue into like an instrumental part. Always we, go sound, light, light sound. That's the rule. That's uh, for an epilepsy test. You're thinking of that. <laughs> that's nothing to do with Twitch. Okay, let's restart. Okay. Boop, boop, All boop. right. Hey, everybody. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right. um, Hi, Ash. How's your week been? Okay. Same that's here. What I got for you. <laughs> um, it's been an okay week. That's fine. I don't ask. I don't ask for. I don't ask for much. I don't ask deep for details. I'm ready for zombies in my life. I mean, mummies in my life. Well, you're gonna be upset because all I have is mummies. <laughs> <laughs> but this mummy did get up and walk around. So is it a zombie mummy? Well, the, but Holmes was like, "That's not the mummy that was chasing me earlier." So hopefully, it's fine. So it may not be I a guess zombie. Zombies don't have brains. Not traditional. So wait. So. Have we just blown this wide open? It feels like the way to fight a zombie is with a mummy because you can't a mummy a zombie can't eat a mummy's brain. Well, I yeah, I mean a zombie could eat the mummy's brain just it would just be sitting next to them in a little jar. <laughs> and then they would walk true. away and be like, Got you that <laughs> That's time. That's true. A zombie's like dream yeah. is to stumble into a tomb and have just like jars of brain. It's like to go. That's like their McDonald's. <laughs> Speaking of which, hmm. Dude, 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 dude. Um, hey, Vistad, Dave, Lemon, and uh, welcome, folks. Thanks for coming back and watching. Um, Hi. We're going to play some more Sherlock Holmes. Uh, now, here's some st fun inf for information. I have resized the screen a little bit, which I think is closer to true 3 4 aspect ratio. At first, I was like, Oh, this isn't filling, but maybe just the game wasn't like, maybe the game wasn't full three, four aspect ratio. That's weird. And then I was like, oh, it probably got like artificially full screened. And this is a compression thing. This is like, so I made it three, four and it does look a little nicer. So hopefully that's correct. And I think I have fixed the mouse problem, at least significantly improved it. I love the nerve that you started this sentence with, here's something fun. And then you <laughs> started talking about aspect ratios. <laughs> you know, <laughs> It's sad Here's that something fun. it's sad that this is the last episode of of the show. <laughs> but you know what, Ryan? It was a real twist because it was fun. It was fun. Wait, uh, so how did you fix the mouse things? You just sort of well, I don't know. You you know, I don't understand these things. But you went in and you were like, I tip a tap it. There was uh, this program DXWND. I don't know how to pronounce it. DX Wind. I've always said. Um, it's basically sort of like hooking into old DirectX games and trying to like fake enough information to get it to run in a window on a modern machine. And one of the things, uh, one of the settings that I did not understand, but as I was looking through the help menu, it was like, uh, just check this if your the mouse behaves weirdly at the borders of the screen, which is what it was doing. Uh -huh. And now it seems much better. It's my kind of instruction manual. It's like, is it weird? Just click the thing. Yeah. That's how, that's the level of instructions I want. Yeah. Um, and wow, look how beautiful it is. Take a whole tour of that room with your sweet, sweet mouse. And look, it's just like, Ooh. what? It's beautiful. It's I think like I butter. adjusted some of the, oh, look, we found something right away. I know what that was. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this Leisure Suit Larry saxophone solo that started playing in this room, because <laughs> I have. We haven't been in this room before. History Did book. we jump into this room right at the end of our yes. last adventure? This is the room we okay. made it into after we rigged up a steam, a stove with Jack Daniels <laughs> and gears. You're right. We built a fire with Jack Daniels <laughs> and newspaper. And then we somehow opened a door, even though like the gears were like, they just they gave us six gears and they put we had all six gears into the, it wasn't much of a puzzle. Yeah. Literally, you threw gears into a box. Yeah. Um. So this is this is new. Can we go back? I don't think so. We're here for we're here for good. 
Oh, wow, you can't go back. Oh. Behind me. Yeah. So we've learned all we can from the mummy rooms. We're done with that. Now, we picked up a history book. Wait a second, it locked behind you, Ryan. This is escape room Sherlock style. Uh, this whole stream is an escape room. Um, <laughs> let me, let's, let's get into casual mode here. Hold on. Okay. Now, oh, there he is, folks. There's the money. Now we're talking. <laughs> now, we've picked up a history book. The whole last one was just a warm up. And they. <laughs> <laughs> now, now the stream starts. <laughs> now the real fun begins. I was watching some of that last stream where I can't. We've gone. We went by the thing so many times and didn't look at it. <laughs> <sighs> you mean the box where you were like, you can't open any of these boxes? I've tried every box. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more about the box. It's physically impossible. Even Thank if I wanted to, I couldn't. <laughs> if Stott hadn't cheated and then very <laughs> kindly pressed us into be like, would you like me to tell you something small? Uh, that wasn't cheating. That was just using our resources smartly. That's true. Well, he's a game master. Um, yeah. This bandage. Well, now we're in a real escape room, so of luck. This mummy bandage is the only thing we've kept from the previous part, from level one. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's still to be used, I guess. I hope that we give it, here's what I hope, Ryan. I hope that at some point we give it to a Ash. dog to smell <laughs> and that he tracks down the mummy. I don't know why this is the first thing I thought of, but that's my hope. And I just want to like manifest it into the world. That's great. It's nice to know your hopes and dreams. Yeah. Uh, we have done an escape room together, Stodd. More than one? Did we just do one? I think we've done more than one. Stodd lives in LA. And so whenever Jackbox uh, travels take us to California. We get together with Stodd. That's fun. I feel like as a game master, you want to do an escape room with Stodd. Yeah, of course. I mean, he's a master. Um, okay. okay. Well, you tell me what the book was that you picked up that I wasn't paying attention to it anyway because I was dreaming about dogs chasing mummies? It just says history book. Oh. You mean you can't pick it up upside down like in... No. Hercule Perot and flip it around for no reason. Mm, what? Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's one. Yeah. No. Oh one God. Negative. This TwitchCon control room was an escape room of its own, with no way out. No matter how many times <laughs> we solved all the puzzles. Um, House of Darkly, I would expect that you've been more of an escape room person. That's that's funny. Um, no, I don't think. So here's the thing. There doesn't seem to be a way to look at these things. You just sort of like I'm picking it up and reading this part down here, where it says oh, history book. Like, there doesn't seem to be a way to you examine. Can't, like, but I also. They're just in your pocket. Right, but I still haven't found the manual to this game if it exists. So there may be controls <laughs> I don't even know. All right, that's the real mystery of the game is how you play the game. That is true. Whoop. There we go. I look at your pocket, it seems to tell us that there are slots for a number of things, and yet we never fill them. No. I mean, we've got a lot of seals that one time. We came fairly that's close. true. It's weird that I can't read this great book. This is, I will say, the tr continuing the tradition. How's that mouse going, Ryan? <laughs> uh, it's a little, it's mostly better. <laughs> uh, we are continuing the tradition of weirdly loud, inappropriate music for a Sherlock Holmes game. <laughs> I can't hear it as uh, distinctly as you can, but I trust you. The funny thing is, I feel like. It's the worst of both worlds. I'm hearing it too loud, and the stream's not hearing it much at all. Heavy. I cannot walk around with them. Oh. He's not... He's not doing anything. I like the idea, idea that this guy owned, like, a full set of encyclopedias, and then, like, one novel, and he just, like, filed it wrong. Yeah. This is... And look, he's <laughs> taking them out for, like, re like research purposes. These books are yeah. Heavy. I cannot walk oh, around with them. It's still not perfect, I'm going to be honest oh, with you. It wouldn't let you pick up that book? No, it's giving me the hand symbol, but it's yeah. not doing anything. The international sign of picking something up, which yeah. is a Barbie hand. Hey, Eddie. Hi. These books are heavy. I cannot walk around with them. These books are heavy. I cannot walk around with them. Well, you can't walk Can around Can you them. move it to that desk or something? Oops. What if I put this book back on the shelf? Oh, I like the way you think. These books are heavy. These books are heavy. Yeah. I cannot walk around with them. Yeah, exactly. You need a library card. Whoop. Or one of those ladders, like in the opening sequence of Beauty and the Beast. 
We all want a library ladder like Belle. Yeah. Uh, it's weird that that's not maybe, letting me do anything. Maybe you walk around and come back to it. No! Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, those are clearly fake books. Even in the world of the game, those are fake books. Yeah, I mean, look how, like, it's like uh, yeah. a cardboard cutout with a save That's a picture it. of books. That's like a community theater production <laughs> taking place in a library. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, well. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hope we have to do a puzzle with the stained glass window. Me too. I can't touch or look at anything here yet. Do we know who this is of based on our extensive research, which none of us did? That's uh, my Uncle Larry. Oh, great. Mm hmm. He was always carrying those snake staffs around. <laughs> what a guy. Put them down. And what a guy. Being the death of him at the. Uh, oh, he here. made most of his money out of stained glass modeling work. <laughs> He's a most handsome. Of it. Okay. <laughs> handsome fellow. Uh, okay, well, you know, the mouse is slightly better. Ugh. Ugh. In a way, it's better that the mouse isn't fixed. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I like a world in which you have as much trouble as possible to get around the game. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. It feels like it levels our playing fields. <laughs> like because I bring nothing to this equation, and right. at least if you were going to bring everything to the equation, like at least you're a little slow. You're saying that like if I was had a regular mouse, I would be like limitless Brad Pitt, and I'd be like or yeah. like or not Brad Pitt. Uh, what's his face? Other guy. Yeah. And I would yeah, be like be solving Bradley puzzles Cooper. left and right. Bradley Cooper, thank you. Yeah, but limit. But let's be honest, limitless Bradley Cooper is Brad Pitt. Yeah, that's true. Bradley, Brad Pitt is just Bradley Cooper without all the limitations. Yeah, and like bad lighting. Uh, uh, okay, well, that doesn't seem to be anything else I can do there. Okay, oh. There's so many books. Lord Montcalf must have had a lot of time to read all of them. There's so, There's many, so many books. books. Lord Montcalf must have had a lot of time to read all of them. It's less like a clue and more just like Sherlock kind of being shady about like readers. Weirdly judging. Like he doesn't like books. Lord must have had a lot of there's so many books lord montcalf must have had a lot of time to read all of them okay okay oh wait did i see a hand oh okay once one again, of I... these books has to open a secret compartment i know one of them has to once again i have a hand but nothing I can do with it. Okay, so, but this is interesting. We're, Ryan, we're developing a pattern, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. We're using, we're going to use the top of our intelligence here, Ryan. We're really <laughs> in it. You mean Gone like. Gone are the days of too many tokens in a box, <laughs> you know? Where it's a fresh start. Uh, so maybe, maybe, you, maybe we need to find something. Yeah. To go, that goes in those slots, or oh. maybe we need to collect books in a certain order. Oh my gosh, you get to go up the spiral staircase. Let's play that quick time file of uh, render up the stairs. <laughs> and I like this, like, back to the game. The, the bounce feature. Yeah. Um, oh, once again. Uh, you're right. Uh, that won't get old, says Todd. Nope. <laughs> nope, we're going to love watching that every time. Um, no, I think you're right. And oh, it's impossible to push this door. I wonder if it could be done only from the other side. It's impossible. Holmes is only from the other side. Yeah, maybe this is like we come back to this room from the other side. It's Im it's impossible to push this door. I wonder if it could be done only from the other side. Okay. I guess he must have had a lot of time on his hand making doors that are impossible <laughs> to push. Isn't Some of us work a for a living. <laughs> Miss what? If Miss Montcalf wanted me to clean up a bit, she could have just asked me before. I think that's that wry Holmes humor that not all of us get. Yeah. Okay. So we got a lot of shells with a lot of books. Oh, I assumed it went all the way around. Oh, it does. You just started looking. Yeah, it's just got to go over here. I thought it was just like you got to go up and look at one shelf, and he's like, this door won't open. It's locked. This door's locked. But it, doors are locked. Another, another book hmm. 
it just uh let's make sure that my changes have saved here with the oh uh, yeah because we don't want to we don't want to lose this incredible progress we've well. made so far <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. Keep going. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was just making sure that. Keep going. Okay. Don't worry about it. Here we go. Is that Sherlock's voice? Yes, he's a real gent squirrel, um, and he's sort of um, sounds like he's just in a in a sound booth thirty miles away from the game. While you he's try to talking... sort of solve it. He's also talking about a lot of locked doors. So I thought that you were purposely making a sure lock. Pun. Wow. wow. And uh, I think that we should keep that. Okay. Did you find any more books you can't pick up, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're uh, making some weird uh, point about these books, but uh, <laughs> I forgot what it is. And again, again, if you missed last stream, we know that Sherlock Holmes's head is extremely heavy. And he sometimes He's has a rest. trouble time getting <laughs> up. Got rest. Oh boy. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything there. Okay. So I can't like um, replace a book with one book or. This book is in the right place. What can I do with the other one? Oh, okay. So we had to find the right place. We are putting all the books back in order. Now I see. And we had to. We could only put the book where it goes. Cause like downstairs, I was trying to put it. Oh, and you can only pick up one book at a time. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why the books are too heavy. Okay, <laughs> sure fuck. I mean, I'm not a very athletic person, but I think I could carry, you know, three books at least. <laughs> I've never seen you do it. Okay, got it. So oh, okay. now they're all color coordinated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So where was another one that you couldn't, Did was there another one you couldn't pick up on this little? Um... Uh, yes, there was. I don't think there was Balcony. one there. These look green though. Okay. That might be the wrong green. Let's see. Oh, I didn't notice you picked up a book. Right. So that's the that's what I didn't get is he replaced the. Oh, book. you switched them. Yes. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I'm following. Okay, so that's not the right that's not the right shelf. Okay. All right. Now we're getting a little bit. Oh, here we go. This has got to be it. Gotta find the button. I hope the whole room like expands or something when you yeah. finally get them all right. This looks right. If Miss Montcalf or this right color. Miss Montcalf wanted me to clean up a bit, she could have just asked me before. If Miss Montcalf wanted me to clean up, it looks like the right color. Asked me before, right? Yeah, maybe downstairs there's um a, another color up bookshelf. Um, you're right. Oh yeah, you, do you have to click the non-matching -ma books? So you, you have to switch again. You do, but I just didn't see any non-matching books on that shelf unless you, somebody else did. They all look like they yeah. matched. Well, you downstairs again? Downstairs again. What, okay. we didn't get an animation of you walking down the stairs? I know, che they, it, it, they should have just played it in reverse. Well, I'm gonna go backwards, so that's how I like it. House of Darkly says that there was one up there. Okay, well there must be because I don't see any green books downstairs. Okay, hold oh, on. Back up. Oh, that door's impossible to open. Oh, the oh, red one. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Anne. Great eyes. Okay, so next one was red. <laughs> yeah, like a parkour. He's just flipping himself over the banister. <laughs> Watson, take me for YouTube. <laughs> he opens up his little caped coat and flies like a squirrel. <laughs> I'm doing this for the Insta, Watson. <laughs> Okay, so this is over here. Now we're doing it. Okay. Aha! And we got a kind of a gray blue. Uh, maybe this way. I'm lit, Watson! Uh, yeah. oh, Not red? Here. Oh, yeah. Great. Philosophy book. Um, remember that time that we got we bought that thirty-two volume philosophy series? <laughs> there's just you know, there's so much to talk about. Must have a lot of time. Did that work? Did you pick up a new one? Oh, I yeah, see. I do. Law book. Law book. Yeah, I think 
Uh, oh. Something with this. I thought place. I remembered a place with all the black leather books. Yeah, the Time Life infomercials. <laughs> it's like Hi. the Carol Burnett Lost episodes and the Theology <laughs> Encyclopedias. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's French those children are speaking, and no, they're not French. <laughs> they're American. Bye. This will Uh oh. No, not oh. yet. These look like um uh... book you have is like a black leathery one, right? Yeah. Okay. Just didn't maybe I missed one check, upstairs. Check that ceiling. Check yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, okay. is it up there? Yeah, no stone on turn, Ryan. <laughs> Yes, Muzzy Stud. Uh, <laughs> the love songs compilation. That's right. <laughs> I'm all alone. So lost without you. Oh, there, there we go. go. Okay, back downstairs. Remember when songs used to be like they used to be? Okay, I got a white philosophy book. Okay. We are very old stud. Just uh, doesn't uh, want take, a, take a rest, take a rest, take a rest. Don't overexert yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, maybe the bottom shelf over there? Oh, no, no, no. Don't go over there because those are all multicolored, I remember. Don't go over there. Ryan, don't do it. We are, you're going to waste valuable time. <laughs> Yeah, you'll get there someday, Squirrel. Uh, is it over here? Yeah, maybe this yeah. way. No. Uh, oh, no, I can't do any of those. Those are the community theater books. Okay. Oh, yeah, just buy a sports car. Um, okay. Hmm. Now, our family did buy Hooked on Phonics. For yours truly. Right. That's right. Because I was very I was very jealous of as the youngest in the family that everyone else in the house could read but me. Yeah. Uh we bought it. I don't think it worked, but the effort was put in. I don't remember you being hooked on it. I wasn't hooked on it per se. You were like dabbled in phonics. Yeah. I had a passing acquaintance with phonics. Uh, I don't know if Dad's watching. He said he might watch, but Dad, if you're watching, do you remember when we bought that speed reading course? We got Dad. That's a, that's a classic uh, Dad thing to do. Oh, there it is. You think it goes here? They just we uh -huh. put one here, didn't we? Oh. I got oh, no. Nope. About it. No, you're right. Oh. I got a key. Yes, I did. I feel like that was just getting exciting and they cut it off. It's like when we saw a mummy in a mirror and he went back to opening Actually, boxes. This is 2002. <laughs> we can process. That took 75 days to render what you just saw. You're right. I'm so sorry. A computer the size of a room had to build it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, he, he found a key. I assume goes to the impossible door. We found a key, but I'm not going to. First of all, I have to finish saying that we bought a speed reading course. Oh and yeah, tell us. Dad was excited about it, and I was like, I'll learn to speed read. And so we listened to it, and it was just like a guy on a cassette tape being <laughs> like, just try, just, hey, just read every other word. And we're like, well, what if... <laughs> Maybe uh, try just... reading faster. Step one, yeah, read more quickly. <laughs> it's like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm... <laughs> also, you and Dad, both very proficient readers. We're fairly good readers. That's the thing. They, they hook you. You want to learn. You want to read even better. Okay. So we're in a hallway. Is this where we came from? Oops. No, but it wasn't. Wait. I gotta get my bearings here. So this is the hallway. Yeah. Get back in the hallway. Oh. Oh. So you came out of the cool this library is where we room. Came now from. you're in a hallway. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, you came to the top floor. Oh, so you did open the impossible door. Yeah. No. 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 I opened oh. another door. There's also the impossible the door. No. Okay, I'm, on, I'm on the second floor. The impossible door and this other locked door were both on the, were both on the second floor. Oh, got it. Okay, so is this is puzzle? where I came from. Hmm? Is that a King Tut guy puzzle that's at the end of the hall? It's too late. I've already looked this way. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sorry, I forgot the rules. <laughs> this oh. statue is not ancient. 
He's kind of real. This statue is not ancient enough. First, he's surprised that every room has a mummy in it. Then he's surprised that he reads books. And now he's <laughs> mad this guy didn't collect ancient artifacts. Uh, sue me, Holmes. I like <laughs> a Egypt stuff. It doesn't all have to yeah. be literally ancient. Jeez Louise, it's a big house. It's a I, what else would you, what would you put there? <laughs> what what would you put there in the corner? It's this real dead space. Not ancient. It's not ancient. Um oh squirrel, I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Uh okay. All right, so now we're in this room. One of these rooms will have the other side of that door. It's got to. It's got to. It has to be. It has Lord to. Munkamp loved beautiful pipes. Just like me. Oh, see, now they're bonding. Now, okay. Like, it just takes one thing to connect people together. I was wrong to insult his statue. Maybe Lord I'm Lord Moncap. Lord Moncap loved, Lord Moncap loved beautiful pipes. Just like me. Oh. This cleaner is solid, but it's used to clean very strange pipes. This is okay cleaner, but it's bad pipes. What's this? Oh, it's a pipe cleaner. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Looks like a pipe clean. Oh, right. That's what pipe cleaners are actually for. I thought it was like a solution. He was like, but it could only be used on weird pipes. I, I know. Like, I don't understand what that means. I thought that too. Uh... Okay, wait. He collects pipes. You know, he's got a varied interest. I'm starting to think I don't have enough hobbies, you know? Yeah. This guy's like an ancient pipes. Egypt guy, and he's got a cool library, and he has pipes. Yeah, I've been to your place, and like floors and floors of it are empty. There's just nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think all you see is this, and it's a studio apartment, but no. There's a no. whole. There's several levels. You're just in your third library. Wait, what did he say? I missed it. I don't know, but I'm getting you that painting for Christmas next year. Forget I, I said it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, hang that up. That is the best. If I was like a scientist, all I would want is someone to make like a character painting of me for, for me to hang in my library. It's pretty good. Very strange that I have not seen any of them on the ground floor. Okay. okay. So that's Monikaf himself, along with some of his favorite doodads. And we haven't found any of them yet, so. On the ground floor. Maybe they're hidden someplace. Uh -huh. Lord Monikaf in Egypt. I wonder who uh -huh. people standing. This explains him. it. He likes Egypt <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Oh. He wonders who the people sitting next to him are. Okay. Yeah, just some. Well, so do I, frankly. Good friend. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I'm not disinterested. Oh, come on. Come on, mouse. I, you were doing no, really. so good before. But he, the game really wants you to think about it. Like, there's two people. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm starting to get kind of interested in how Montclaff is, like, using every room. Yeah. Feels like there was a library. But this is like a pipe slash dining room. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> well, he's got the family tree here. He okay. Wanted to get the Montcamp treasure. Lord Montcamp didn't like him so much. Oh, okay. Jonathan Parkey, thief, murderer, says Montcalf. I guess. Okay, time to admit that I have forgotten the main plot of this game. <laughs> right. This is perfect. We need a we need a refresher. Yeah, um, remind me what's happening. So, uh, okay, Anna saying, okay, here's what happened. Okay. Uh, we got a letter from our cousin's fiance. Cousin's fiance, okay. Sherlock Holmes' cousin's fiance, non canonical yeah. cousin fiance. Uh, yeah. she was like, hey, I'm Elizabeth Moncalf. Uh -huh. Um, I'm gonna marry your cousin, remember? And we're reading her, like, yeah, yeah, that checks out. Is it? Yeah, sure, sure. I'm and in carriage. She's like, but I need your help, Sherlock Holmes, because my father, Lord Moncalf, mm -hmm. uh, supposedly committed suicide by self immolation, mm -hmm. aka setting yourself on fire. Not a good way to commit suicide. Somebody did their speed reading course. You got good vocab. <laughs> That's right. I read, I was like, uh, self immolation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self immolation. <laughs> I got it. Um, and so she's like, that's shady. I don't buy it. I, th I think he was maybe murdered. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be real upset about it. And we're kind of cousins now. If you want to help me out, show up to the thing. Uh, but I can't let you in for some reason. You got to solve a bunch of puzzles to figure it out. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, and this has introduced the idea of some kind of inheritance. 
So, wait, here we are. Where are we? Oh, here we go. Here's Elizabeth Moncalf, the cousin in question. Okay. On this family tree. And then Jonathan Parkey, who we think is a thief and a murderer. Okay. I guess this is Lord Moncalf himself. So this might be his brother. I don't know why they have different last names. Maybe I, I'm not 100% sure how this... Uh... Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> in a in a real turn of events, the part I don't understand about this is how the tree works. <laughs> yeah, right. Because <laughs> I'm not really sure which branch we're doing here. Leslie is maybe dead or not relevant. And then George over here is stupid. <laughs> it's just stupid. And can you scroll? It sounds like he didn't like a lot of his relatives, actually. Yeah, actually. So there's himself and Elizabeth who he's cool with. Seems it. Everyone else, no, 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 no. one who wanted to get the Montcamp treasure? Lord Montcamp didn't like him so much. Okay, so okay. he says something. Wait, you know what? I forgot we actually have all these letters. Um, uh, okay, so this is the original letter. That one you recapped. Died six months ago. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Please say he killed himself. He was a brilliant Egyptologist. I don't think he killed himself. Yeah, oh, and he says keep it a secret because I'm marrying your cousin, Andrew. Okay, we also got this note. I uh, can't let you into the manor. It's full of traps. Oh, right, he he yeah. had lost his mental health recently and gone kind of kind of bonkers. That was another mm -hmm. thing to know. Uh, this is that newspaper clipping about how he found uh, a mummy who we are going to assume cursed him. Uh, except, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, we'll see how accurate this is to Sherlock Holmes. Maybe we'll be like, it was not a curse. That's not reasonable. Yeah. But we also have He'll a we had a real mummy a second ago, so. It's true. Except he left a tie pin behind. That's true. Oh, and that's Elizabeth. That's Elizabeth. Oh, but she wasn't in that other the cousin in question. Showing a lot of leg for the 1900s. Yeah, well, it's uh it's an expedition ish. Sure. It's allowed. And I think that's it. The weird thing is, I've told this to, like, restrict the mouse to the game, which I think would solve everything, but it's not doing that. Hmm. Let's save it. Okay, good. I was thinking that I had, I should have already remembered this plot about somebody he's trying saying, to get the inheritance. Right, he's saying it, to us. he's saying it as though we should know about it. Maybe he's just making an on-the-spot deduction. Maybe uh -huh, it's, it. it's because it says thief. <laughs> Now explain that to me, Ryan. <laughs> Don't know, just throwing it out there. Okay, great. That's fair. Okay. So I'm going to, you know, now leap to a conclusion that are we like edging towards this idea that somebody was trying to make it look like he was going insane so that he could take the inheritance from him? Maybe, or maybe somebody tried to make it look like the mummy's curse killed him whenever, when in reality they killed him. What I like this that? It's getting, it's getting a lot worse. Sometimes if I just do this, it'll fix it. It's a little better. Okay, I won't force it. Okay, don't, uh, don't tell me about it. <laughs> I won't force it, but I uh, really recommend it. Okay. Maybe that was just Sherlock sort of making a note to himself about like, you know, his personal relationships. Like, don't force it. I met a new you friend know, named the, Watson. The not mummy going to force to it, the mummy will come back. <laughs> You're a good guy, you like pipes. So the pipe uh, squirrel is the is the nothing can be done because we're just, we're sitting back with our pipe. And then when something can be Thank done, you. we see either the uh, uh, magnifying glass or we see like a point, or sometimes we see a little wrench, which means use an object with this. Which, You're forgetting about Barbie Hand. And Barbie Hand is pick up, which is weird that it didn't have, it should have been the squirrel, like, or not squirrel, the, the wrench thing. Because uh, it's like use oh, yeah. a book. I mean, I don't know. A hunting trophy. Hunting trophy. Ah! A hunting trophy. All right. I've never seen a lion look so much like an ape. Yeah, he's very primate there. Okay. So, oh. my dear father, since you returned, I haven't seen you. So, I've decided to leave my lessons at university to spend a little time with you. I deeply regret that you are so angry that I chose to study archaeology. I don't despair that one day you will open the door to your study to me. Study capital S. Do you know that the teacher decided to be really hard on me given your knowledge? You should feel bad. 
Despite this, I'm still okay. the best in my class. Signed a five-year-old. <laughs> Elizabeth. But, so this is a, not to her uncle, who's the guy who died. This is to sorry, her, her father. Sorry, I, her father is the guy who died. I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm the one who messed that up. Because it's her, Sherlock's going to be her uncle. Uh, Sherlock's going to be her cousin. Okay, great. So it's all... No, I'm, I'm, I'm clear on all of it. You got it all. You don't have to ask any more questions. <laughs> got it all figured out. Okay. So, okay. Hmm. Okay, now I really want to think about it. So he wouldn't let her into his study. Yes. I think he's like, this I mean, isn't for I mean you. That, yeah, exactly. In general. Like, you mm -hmm. can't be an archaeologist. But we have a picture of her at a dig. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe he took her along, but then he was like, this, you shouldn't have a career. You're a woman. Or maybe he was yeah. just like, it's too dangerous. Mummies will curse you. Ah, yeah. Locked. I can see the key in the lock. I should find something to push it out. Maybe he didn't want her to get the curse of the mummy, and so he locked her out of a literal study. I think that it is literal, but I don't know. Oh, you're saying, like, my field of study. Yes. Oh, I think it's a literal study. But... It does. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. I think it does work both ways. But maybe it's both. Squirrel, I do think that that was the tenure of the letter. It was like, I know you don't want me to study Egyptology, but just kidding, I did, and I'm, I'm great the best at in your class. Uh, I'm gonna poke Love a pipe Elizabeth. cleaner. <laughs> your best friend. I'm gonna post a poke a pipe cleaner in here and knock this key out. What do you think? Go for it. Actually, should I put a um? Oh, let's just do it. Oh, did you? Oh, no, he was just in your hand. If the key falls too far, I'll have no way of grabbing. I hope Dad is watching this stream because this is the one thing <laughs> Dad taught us. Not the one thing. Dad? Dad is what? Dad is watching this stream because he texts me. So, Dad, you're, it's all coming back because this is this is your this is your piece de resistance. Dad taught us how to escape a basement if we were ever <laughs> locked inside. If the key was still in the lock, and we had a screwdriver and a newspaper. And it was a skeleton key. And it was a skeleton key. <laughs> in like key. an old timey house which we grew up in. That's true, it wouldn't really work on any... Uh, well, we're about to show him that we remember how to do that, but I don't have a newspaper. Yeah. This old gun might be dangerous. This old gun. Dad's laughing. Dad, you picked the perfect episode to watch. Well, Memphis 11 seems to have gone for a walk. Strange, there's sand <laughs> House here. of Tarkley, oh no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we get it, relatable. Yeah, it would have you would have needed a lot of things to go right for that to be, to work, but uh, so yeah, this. Well, Memphis, well, Memphis Eleven seems to have gone for a walk. Strange, there's sand here. Oh, four years old. That's it. It's <laughs> not your fault then. You didn't get locked in that bathroom. The bathroom betrayed you. The bathroom betrayed you. So this mummy is missing, suspicious, and there's yeah. sand there, which I'm not sure if I, why that's important, but I'm remembering. Uh, good job. Creepy good job death remembering. Mask. There's sand, there's a missing mummy. Wait, so, Squirrel, did you get stuck in the basement, or did you purposely lock yourself in the basement? Dad, um, <laughs> oh no, the door jams. That's such a tragic end to that story. I you purposely went there so no one would hear you and then it was it was your doom. I got stuck in a closet that way once, a walk-in closet. Oh. The door jammed and I didn't have my phone and I was like, huh, wonder how this is gonna end. Oh. I eventually was able to get out. Did you have a newspaper and a coat hanger? It wasn't even locked, it was just stuck. <laughs> it was just jammed. Oh. I had to like shoulder it. But I felt really cool when I was able to do it. Um, every time we painted a bathroom, mom got stuck in the bathroom because yes. you always just instinctively close that door behind you. And yes. you know what? When you've taken the handle off, it doesn't open. And uh, all those paint fumes would explain uh, how <laughs> mom has acted her entire life. It's true. That wallpaper glue. Uh, okay. It is, this is a, this is, I mean, Squirrel, it, it's a tragic story, but it's a little bit of a hilarious story as well. So I want you to know that we feel for you and also it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, I don't think I can do that yet. Um, let's see what else is down this hallway. Are you gonna open the door with the pipe cleaner? Well, I don't have like anything to catch the key. Like mm -hmm. Holmes specifically said when I tried, he's like, it'll just fall on the other side. Yeah, you need a newspaper like dad's trick. Exactly. So dad's trick, which we didn't explain, is that if you're locked in a room and there's a key left in the door, you slide a newspaper or a paper bag under the door, something to catch it. Then you tap uh, the lock with a screwdriver or pipe cleaner or or coat hanger or something so that it falls to the floor, but it falls conveniently on your piece of paper. Then you slide the piece of paper out to your side under of the door, the door. and you have, and you, uh, you've brilliantly houdini yourself out. It, it's, it I, works if you're trapped in, in a door in 1957, because <laughs> doors don't have that much clearance anymore. They have different kinds of keys. Sure. But if you are, it's great. But if you're like four and 10 and you get locked by accident in your basement, then dad has taught you how to get out. Hey, Acid. The vibes are acidic tonight. Glad you're here. <laughs> oh. oh, got some soap. Can you wash up? Yeah, let's clean it up here. I don't know. Uh, I mean... Oh, this razor. Should just have to use the restroom? Like, should we just take a second? We should probably leave. He's gonna need a minute. Did they have indoor plumbing like this? I mean, fancy houses did, I'm sure. Yeah, they had indoor plumbing in the 1800s, sure. This is, might be early 1900s. No, I guess it would be 1800s still. Okay. Wow, I can't believe that there's a straight razor on the sink, too. It's a real dad-centric episode. That's true. It's all the great dad hits. Can you wear that robe? No. Mm. Ashley's all you you're the most the thing you're most excited about is putting on hats and cloth costumes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. You think that like flushing the toilet would be an option too. Dad wants to know if you can pick up that towel. Okay. Uh, I'll try, Dad. <laughs> he has a brilliant idea, but I don't want to give it away unless it doesn't work. Okay. I don't wait. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Sherlock comes to Oh! Oh, I thought there was going to be like a mummy. A mummy in the tub? A tub <laughs> yeah. mummy? A mummy in the tub sounds like a sweet children's book. The case of the tub mummy. Ooh. Is it sand? 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 So they washed themselves off? Yeah, I guess they were being a mummy and the mummy came out, washed himself off. No doubt. It is the same sand I saw on the broken stand in the living room. Mm. Does Morpheus take baths? I don't think a dead mummy takes baths. Sand? No doubt. It is the same thing on the broken sand. You know, I don't think Dad has a Twitch account, Squirrel, but he's surprised me a lot with uh, his ability to play video games recently, so he may. Okay. Uh, no, I can't take this towel. Uh, Dad wanted you to slide the towel under the door like, a new like the newspaper. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that yet. Is this, um... Uh, Stott, I just, I, I'll get, like, I'll be working in the middle of the day, and then I'll get, like, a notification. Your friend, you know, and his Steam name, is online. He's playing Jackbox Party Pack 7. I'm like, well, I'm working on Jackbox games. Why does he get to play these didn't games? You get, didn't you get a notification that was like, your dad has a bunch of achievements? <laughs> yeah, your dad earned an achievement. I'm like, I wrote that achievement. He, and you know. I, this this takes me back to playing Mario with Dad as a kid, when he put his whole body into turning Mario. <laughs> uh, okay, well I this. By the way, Squirrel, that is the if this ever happens, that is one hundred percent the username that I will demand he choose. Dad Georgie. <laughs> you must. Okay, so I've lost a little bit track of like. Can the you open of your all pocket this? again? Yeah, can you open your pocket again? I know it's called something else, but I don't remember what it is. Your inventory? Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, Sherlock, can you open your inventory for us? Sure. Wait, what's this? So we've got pipe oh, cleaner. Soap. Oh, pipe cleaner, soap, mommy bandage. We have a door that it needs the lock 
the key to come out. And we keep finding sand. Am I missing something else? I feel like there's like a thread I'm missing. Okay. No, that seems to be it. I think we're okay. putting it together that whether or not this um, this mummy is real or not. But the thing with this soap is I assume it's to loosen this key because he said that it was rusty. I mean, we could try this bandage, but I've, I think I already tried it in the door and it didn't do anything. Uh, oh, cool. See you, Squirrel. It's Have well fun. done. That's where we came in. Wait, is this where we came in? No doubt. It is oh, the it's not. Oh. What a mess. Someone was looking for something here. Oh, okay. So now we finally have we finally have a crime scene, Ashley. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So this is a study Elizabeth wasn't allowed in. I'm yeah yeah. You need something to open it. What it what is that? Do you know? I don't know. I need something okay. to open it. A safe, maybe? We got a cuckoo clock. Oh! Collection register. Sarcophagus of M Amenephis III. A lot of Again, sarcophagus big, statues. Big props for your old time handwriting language. I really thought that said saxophone. <laughs> saxophone <laughs> of amoebas. Yeah. African Zulu stand. All right, so it's a lot of, there's a little, little like, ink blot there, too. Page 45. Wood cup, wood cup, and, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, I'm just gonna get lay the land. Got it. He's got some papyrus. This fake. What? Moncat is trying to hide something. Some items I saw on the photos are not registered here, except for the items of no historical value. Nothing. Holmes made a giant leap there. It was like surprise, mummy exists. All of a sudden, he can like see by sight what's real and what's not real. I think he was like, I saw some real expensive stuff here that isn't on this registry, therefore he was lying. Although it could just be a different page, Holmes, that you didn't yeah, see. Yeah, I mean, there, he has a one-page registry for his whole house. Okay. Oh. Who lit that fire? It's obvious that this manor is not as empty as it is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, the butler is there. We Butler's just forgot there. about him because he's a... It's a servant. Secondary character, yeah. They were playing chess. This man is not as empty as it's supposed to be. Cool, or else it's just a very sad picture they're making us look at. Think about this! <laughs> Colonialism! Yeah, All right. I, just want, I just want to really own in on it. I mean, I get it. Look at that crazy cuckoo clock. It, can we look at that more? Uh, I, no, I don't think so. I can't seem to get to a position. Oh, wait. No, it takes me all the way over here. Mm. I can look at it like this. Look how crazy it is. Yeah. Do you think that chair is secretly like Slughorn, like in Harry Potter? Yes, I do. Is that someone's hiding? It's Jim Broadbent, yeah. Look at his little slipper! <laughs> Who's <laughs> wearing so these slippers? <laughs> This so house fun. isn't as empty. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely very point and clicky acid. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, so oh. he doesn't respect. <gasps> I can't believe that wasn't a puzzle for us to open. It. I think there's more to do. Oh, to open it. It's a safe, is that right? That looks I like. Something. I, need, I need something to open it. Uh, okay. Oh. What do you have in your pocket. Dear sir, on behalf of all the manor personnel, I'm ready to inform you that we resign. We ask that you pay us via your legal representative, lawyer, Mr. Smith. Our resignations will be effective as soon as you or your lawyer receive two copies of this letter. Edward, your former butler. Well, now who let, Hold me, on, who a let butler, me in? Yeah, a butler let us in. Yeah. And if, uh, Suspicious. and why did they resign? Maybe because he was acting weird? In that case, who opened the door for me? Okay, so Holmes is on the same page. I like that he signed it, your former butler. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna sign all my text messages to you, your sister. <laughs> like, just so you never forget, in case it comes up in court. At least I won't be you're my former sister. <laughs> it's true. Is this drawer something I can get to? I wish we could just tidy up a bit, you oh. know? Me too. There's something in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
So the tea's been spilled. Spilt? Hey, tea's been spilt. Don't cry over it, though, okay? Okay. Oh, there's that squirrel, the squirrel's telescope. What is this yeah. For? Wait, what is this spyglass is for? What is this spyglass for? What is this spyglass is for? What is this spyglass is for? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! That was cool. I was right. Someone is wandering around the house. I was right. That was that cool. That was very exciting. I enjoyed I, that. I liked the cinematography of that little cutscene. Look at it. So that perhaps the butler guy. Perhaps. Or you know whoever this person that's wandering around. What is this spyglass for? Oh. Wait, before I go over there. So yeah, Stott, I saw that. Um, I saw that yeah, pawn. On? I don't think I can pick it up. Let me, I'll double check. Sometimes it feels like you have to like walk around things a bit. Yeah. Can you make a fire? Mm, yeah. Uh, I was able to look at it. He was like, "What's in this? What's the deal with this?" Yeah. Not as empty as it is supposed to be. We need something to open that safe. Uh, yeah, so you asked about the inventory. It's the pipe cleaner. I still have this, which mm -hmm. this may be for that lock. You know, I could put the paper under mm -hmm. the door. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to finish looking at this room before we go back, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. What about that gear? Just throw it at the safe like we did in that other part of the game. Ah! Oh, is this the other side of that oh! door? Only an entrance door. Oh. We're back in the. Oh. Wait, I wonder if there's I... something that new there that for us to find. I wonder if it could be done only from the other side. Oh, do you have to walk all the way back around? Yeah. That's ridiculous. It's impossible to push this door. <laughs> can we prop it, it open? <laughs> Watson, stand here. <laughs> That's dumb. That's hilarious, but a kind of a fun part of the game. It is. It's weird. Like it seems like it would you'd open up a shortcut and then you could just yeah. use it. Uh okay, this is locked. It's Good locked. luck remembering which door you just came out. I know. Alright, we'll go back there, but let's try oh this is the bathroom. Okay, that's the bathroom. Let's really scope it out. Can you pick up the towel? <laughs> I just can't pick up the towel. <laughs> okay. Uh okay, here's where we were. Uh okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's that door. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the door. Yeah. So it's good to know that there's like secret packs, passages. It's probably how people are sneaking around. Yeah. Look at all these just like miscellaneous gears and sprockets he has. What is this spyglass for? Maybe you use the spyglass to open the safe. Mm. Okay. M M. M M. -M. Maybe one's W. Yes, the book's upside down. <laughs> this is a misprint. I got it for free, actually. They meant to type M, but... Okay. Uh... Can you look in that mirror and get ego points, like in Hercule, Hercule Pearl? Blackboard. Everything has been erased. Oh. Blackboard. Can you use that Black chalk to like load over erased. something and look for fingerprints? No, I can't seem to do anything with anything here. Mm. Oh, that was a, oh, no. Oh, just brought me over here. Okay, well, let's go try that key. It's only an entrance door. It's only an entrance door. It's not That's a like thing. That's like the opposite of saying it's you can't exit. <laughs> That's not a thing. There's no such thing as only an entrance door. It's only an entrance door. You can only go up these stairs. Uh, this one? Ha! Ah, this door is locked. Right, okay. I can see the key in the lock. I should find something to push it out. Okay. Okay. Okay, really? Now really just plant your feet, Sherlock. <sighs> ah, 
This door is locked. <laughs> I can see the key in the lock. I should find something to push it out. Okay, that did take it away. Okay. Oh, it did. It did work. I hope it's large enough. All right. I can't believe the dad trick is really gonna work. It's a dad trick. And that's yes! how it's done. Lucky me. <laughs> Lucky me! Oh, Kalu Kale! Sherlock does it again! Okay, another weird key. <laughs> Wait, so the door didn't open, you just got the key. Yeah, now it's open. Where am I? Oh, okay. In London or in Cairo? Can't tell if he's being wry or if he's having an episode. <laughs> Where am I? Watson! <laughs> Dad's really excited that his trick worked. <laughs> <laughs> As he should be. As he should be. Okay. All right. Here we are in the yet another brown room. Yeah, I'm really losing track of these rooms. Yeah. Who needs this many rooms? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Ooh, can you wear that hat? The hat of the famous explorer, Lord Montcalm. Lord Moncalf, that is. His house is where I am. In London, <laughs> not Cairo. He's like, Moncalf. oh, fancy this. A hat of a famous explorer. <laughs> Never in my life have I seen such a gem. <laughs> What's this do? This makes a sound. Um, yes, yeah, so we're definitely going to keep playing as long as we, we have fun with it. Um... We talked about doing the other Sherlock games in this series. This is definitely the clunkiest of them. I think the rest will be a little more smooth. Um, but we may play... I think this is a polite way of Stodd saying that this is a terrible game. Have you considered anything that isn't this? <laughs> Can you stop doing whatever this is now? Have you considered a quiet life at home without me involved? <laughs> that would be nice. Your dad seems nice. Maybe just spend more time with him yeah, offline. That would be preferable. I would love game suggestions if anyone has any. Yeah, what do you guys think we should play? I mean, so far we've been a mystery adventure game stream, but I think we're open to other things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you said it made a noise I couldn't quite hear. What was the noise that picture made? It just makes like a shuffling sound. Hold on, here we go. Oh. It is weird. It's just like burlappy. Yeah. Feels great. I could make sheets out of this. Maybe you need to soak. Oh, no, you already put soap on. We're out of soap. We just have the mummy bandage. Now, Is this his a... bedroom? It looks it. I guess so. He's got mosquito netting inside. <laughs> you don't. You... Hey, malaria is serious, right? That's true. Um, there's this um, this puzzle, but we need more pieces. Oh, I'm so excited about a, like a puzzle box. I know. We need more pieces. Yeah. Okay. He said there was missing pieces. Bye, Acid Vibe. Bye, Acid. Now... You know, I've never played those. Oh, sorry. I was, I've never played um, those uh, uh, Freddy Fish or like any of the Humongous games. Or, did Humongous also do... Um, they did sort of like adventure games for kids, um, which is more our speed, I think, is what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. That, what's that Secret Asian Fox game? Do they also do that one? Uh, I played a bunch of the Tex Murphy games. I would love to. Spy Fox, that's right. It was it was obvious now I think about it. Uh, I, liked, I love the Tex Murphy games. And I've still not played some of them. That would be fun. If we did uh, those Tex Murphy games. You would like that, oh, Ash. There's a lot of whatever. really great full motion video acting. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'd play Spy Fox too, though. Tiny pajamas! <laughs> I thought that they were like toddler size. I can use it as a disguise to look older. Ash, are you gonna finally get your wish? Is Holmes gonna put on a disguise? I'm trying to stay cool about it, but I, I'm really hoping it happens. Makeup. I can use it as a disguise to look older. Are we gonna disguise ourselves as Lord Moncalf? Please say yes. Or is the game telling us that somebody Makeup. has been disguising themselves as Lord Metcalf? All I can make it is Laurie Metcalf. I could disguise myself as actor <laughs> Laurie Metcalf. Versatile character actress Laurie Metcalf. 
We didn't actually pick anything up. This powder okay. Except for some ideas about disguise. <laughs> Except for some hot dips. <laughs> Uh, Would huh. that make sense? What? Would that make sense that someone was disguising themselves as him? No. Maybe to... I don't know. Uh, maybe like he to, died earlier? Yeah, or to try to... Yeah, maybe. I feel like we know almost nothing about the core mystery. Yeah, I mean, shit. We're just wandering around a room, picking up soap. Oh, Starship Titanic. I still... Wait a minute. And... Ashley, keep him oh. occupied. Oh, do 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 the whole thing it was sold on was that you could you could type anything into the computer and like speak to the computer and be like, what about this? But of course, you had to know the exact right things to say, and it wasn't actually particularly well done, in my opinion. Uh, but it's still incredible that it exists as a game. Can you still play it like functionally? Like, is it a CD-ROM? Was it something you downloaded? Was uh, it like it you just to, oh, it's you a to blow on it and stick it in something? Yeah, I'm sure you'd have to blow on it. It is a CD ROM. I, I'm sure we could get it running if we wanted to, yeah. Um, that would be a game to have a walkthrough. Because we would not be able to get through it alone. It is <laughs> oh, it's on Steam? Okay. How much is it on Steam, I wonder? Let's That's see. so funny. Let's see, hold on. I, I, I rushed to do this as though it's going to go off sale tomorrow. The people say $5.99. Okay, I'm gonna. That's gonna be. We'll we'll do it later, but that'll be a purchase. And five there. on Gog, G O G. <gasps> I'm cool. I know the slang. Good job. Good job. What does it stand for? Uh, stands for great. Going on. <laughs> Good. Love it. Um. Okay. I guess we've done everything in this room. Oh wait. Do we try this door? What about the, puzzle, the puzzle table. We don't have any pieces to put in it. Oh, Ryan. Oh, oh I want to do the puzzle table. Uh, this door might still I be will commend this game. I feel like a Perot. <laughs> Ryan, I just want to... I feel like you've really been harsh on this game. And I just want to take a second to defend it. <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> I mean... I feel like when we played Hecu Pro, um, it was contained enough that it was like, we need a key. And it was like, you just kind of like walked in a circle and was like, there's a key under oh, yeah. this flower pot. Yes. This game... Although it's obviously a little mind crazy, making us crazy because you have to go around a million different places. At least it's it's tricky in that way of like, okay, and I know there's a puzzle over here and I had to go find it in different rooms and you could like lose track of things. So Ash, one day we'll tell we'll talk all about this because yes, you're right. And adventure games have had something of resurgence, but they are so much easier these days. Like, really? Oh yeah, like that Hercule Poirot one. We just just we just pushed our way through it. Like there was almost yeah, no right. there was almost no like puzzle solving. But like no, man, right. in the old days, it was just like some esoteric thing and it's just like the internet doesn't exist yet. Do your best. Good luck. Oh. Yeah. I mean, new adventure games are great, but they're not hard. But like Sam and Max, Secret of Monkey Island, those games have some weird puzzles in them. Um and they would be like something you picked up at the beginning of the game you'd use at the very end, so. Yeah, I, that's exciting though. That makes it really a good game. I agree. I mean, sometimes it's dumb and that's not a good thing. Like yeah, there's a balance, right, of course. but yeah, exactly. Because this is like, this is these were the first mainstream computer games. I mean, not really. There was like Pac-Man style arcade things were the first, but like these are the first ones yeah. that became giant successes like King's Quest where it was yeah. like, everybody had to have it. And it's all about like stretching out that puzzle for as long as you can stretch it out. So it's all about, it was pushing entirely on the intellectual side of video games. And then um, Doom came along and it was like, what if you just shot things? That's fun. <laughs> sure. And that became most of what video games are. Both things are great. Yeah. Um, what was I doing? 
it's interesting that the games have gotten more advanced technically, but less advanced story wise. Or I shouldn't say that, less advanced mechanics wise. Yeah, I mean, the thing that the industry sort of landed on was like people like feeling smart when they solve a puzzle, but they don't like feeling dumb when they can't. Yeah. Um, so there's better hint systems, and, you know, there are better, there, there's like, if they haven't done it after five minutes, like have a character go, I wonder if that cabinet <laughs> has something. The maid comes in and is like, somebody's been in the bathroom looking at my soap. Or <laughs> right, exactly. My bride's <laughs> soap. You should have been a writer for Adventure Games because that's <laughs> such a great clue. I'm telling you, Ryan, I missed my calling. You did. Okay, I've actually lost track of what we're doing too because that, there wasn't anything in that room that was that interesting. Maybe we missed some stuff. Yeah, puzzle table. Did we make it into all of these rooms? I think so. Let's go, let's take a tour of the rooms. Again. Okay. I will definitely not remember them. Okay. So this was locked before, but now it's the bedroom. Okay. And it has the puzzle table, but it has we need the more puzzle pieces. table. We need more pieces. Oh, I need to play that stud. I heard Brooke Wright was telling me about that game. Uh, this has an adjoining door that goes into uh, the uh, this room. Oh, I missed that it was an adjoining room. Okay, yeah. that goes into the monkey lion room. Monkey lion room. Um, now we can go back into the hall through this. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, the other mm -hmm. side uh, is this, which is the bathroom. Uh-huh. So the bathroom, bedroom, down the hall. Uh, study. Crazy study. And then it must be the this. library. Oh, oh. So we still need to open that safe too. Right. We only have this bandage. I need some. So we gotta find some it. more stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's possible that that um, safe has in it what we need for the puzzle table. Mm -hmm. Completely. So I guess we need a key. Can you tell on the safe like what it is we need? Like, can you get a top view of that safe? I don't think so, but I'll go back. This It looked like a weird gear, like, turny thing. Yeah. That's back to the library. There might still be stuff we missed in the library. We could look through that again. Well, remember, Ryan, that is not an ancient artifact. Okay, Sherlock made yeah. it very clear. You know what? And I'm still upset about that. Yeah. And we were in here. Mm -hmm. And this adjoins to that other room. Right. So... We can't pick up more stuff around here. I wonder if like we can now that we've gotten far. Maybe there's new well, stuff to pick up. Eleven seems there's the same sand as well Monthless Eleven seems to have gone for a walk. Strange, there's sand here. Alright, let's start in the back in the library. What do you think? And then come all the way through again. Whoop. Okay. I just see something weird there. Is there anything in the hall that we're missing? Like these paintings? It's possible. Uh, there's some paintings that we've had close-up views of, but they didn't seem to be a reason. Oh, yeah, like that crazy elephant one. Yeah. Also, sometimes I you forget to look on the floors or on the ceiling. Mostly the floor. This statue is this sta this this statue is not ancient. Okay. And remember we have this bandage, which I haven't seen any obvious place for, but... We have been carrying it around for a while. Maybe it's your Monkey Island style thing. That'll come back later. That's true. Can you jump on the bed? Uh, I don't think I can interact with the bed. Can I go this way? No. No, oh, the hat. No, oh, the hat of the famous explorer, Lord Montcalf. It's one where you can like make a weird noise. Game is a hat tease. It yeah. is a total hat tease. So many cool hats and it's locked. Some pieces are missing. It's locked. Some pieces yeah, are missing. Okay, let's go to the library. Okay. Okay, where are we here? Hallway. Nope, that's a study.
is not an ancient artifact. You sure? I'm so sure, Ryan. Okay. The only thing in our inventory is that bandage. Yeah. And this was the bandage that was stuck under a door that we pulled out. And we're like, looks like a mummy's band. Well, I don't know if we actually said that, but it does look like a mummy's bandage. But we it haven't was, used it. I right. think we found it when the mummy exited. We found it before the mummy exited, I think. Oh, did we? Oh. Unless I'm misremembering. Because it was jammed in a door we couldn't get in. And then the door next to that, which we eventually got into, was when the mummy appeared. You're right. I think. So we can't go back, right? Okay. Locked, All right, so this is the beginning of our journey here. Okay. We did the book rearrange. Did the book rearrange. I'll go left around the room. I usually go right. And we might see things we forgot about. That's a chair. Um... I mean, we already oh. did the book rearrange. Unsolved case. Scotland Yard has announced that they have found a statue which was stolen during a reception at the Egyptian em embassy. Everyone remembers that during the attack, a servant was killed. Not great reporting. Who remembers? You gotta be specific. No, yeah. Moreover, the statue, a gift from Lord Moncalf, was not valuable. Sir Jonathan Parkey was first accused, or Parquet, according to the description provided by the dying servant. Dying servant? Oh, servant was killed. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. He provided three witnesses that confirmed he was playing bridge whilst the crime was being committed. The mystery stays unresolved for now. Okay, wait. Scotland Yard has announced they found a statue which was stolen during a reception at the Egyptian embassy. During the attack, I guess the attack... Everyone the, remembers. Everyone remembers yeah. this. A servant was killed. The statue, a gift from Lord Monkoff, is not valuable. Sir Jonathan Parquet was first accused. Ah, but he provided three witnesses that confirmed he was playing bridge, so it wasn't him. So, our dead guy donated a not valuable statue to the museum. Yes. It was stolen. The embassy. During the attack, a servant died, unnamed servant died. But before he did, he provided a description of the attacker. Yeah. Everyone thought it was Parky. Mm -hmm. Parky was like, I'm playing bridge with my homies. Mm -hmm. Scotland Yard found the statue. But they still don't know who stole it. Still don't know who stole it. And I, I really appreciate you sort of giving me the, like the street talk version of it so <laughs> I could wrap my head around it. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Parky playing bridge. Okay. I just needed to put the order, the events in order, chronological yeah, order. Yeah, I would say, I'll go so far as to say a terribly written newspaper story. <laughs> Lots of references to things that you had only brought now, up once. What if the maid character that I've been working on comes in and is like, I found this newspaper before you said. I don't. Yeah, it's fine. Everyone remembers. I just and think. That, do you feel like that's more helpful to the game? It feels a little, and I don't want to, it feels a little half-baked to me. Huh. I don't think it's fully there I, yet. That's tough for me to hear because I've been working on that for a long time. <laughs> Uh, and I know that, and I don't, like... I just wanted, I had to be honest with you about it. It just feels like my main character's never gonna be good enough, you know? <laughs> sometimes, you know what, maybe sometimes you just have to put it out there, no matter what your critics are saying. I cut out this piece No, nope, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Don't say anything about that ever again. That was terrible. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you went back to the library, because we found that. Clue? Question mark? If, I don't know if it helps. Yeah, it's background anyway. It, so. is, it is weird that he donated a not valuable statue to the museum. Well, he's not going to donate his good stuff. I guess you're right. Like, look, this isn't valuable. You can have it. Are you sure? We're the Egyptian embassy. It's probably from Egypt. That actually was stolen <laughs> yeah, from that's us. That's pretty rude, actually. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was watching yeah, that. I, was, I forgot. Have you seen the... Maybe you sent it to me. That uh, James Acaster clip about museums. I don't remember if I sent it to you, but I have it. It's so it's funny. So good. Look up James Acaster Museum. Museums, everybody out there. I forgot we got a close up of this guy. Now, how is that helping us? Doesn't seem. Oh, is that the is that the picture that's on the top of the desk puzzle? 
The table puzzle? I don't know, because we haven't gotten a close-up of that puzzle, really. I think we will right. once we get more pieces. And I can't access my inventory here to, like, try a bandage on it. So you can't do something? <laughs> you just throw a bandage at it? That's my only thing I know how to do. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I don't see any interaction points here. Maybe it's just like... Maybe the game's just like, huh? We worked on this for it's a like, while. It's like... I spent so much time on this, and you didn't put any view in the game where you can see all of it at once. Yeah. Okay, put... Can you do a close-up of the thing for Gary, for the stained glass? Fine. Okay, but I'm not giving... I'm not putting in the hint system, then. All right. <laughs> is that the shadow of it on the floor? Yeah. Now that I know something? That's cool. It is cool. Good. These lamps are too close together. Yeah. What's happening here? I assume you can't pick up any of those papers. No, not that I've seen. On the um, large desk table thing. Yeah, I moused I moused over it, but it didn't seem like I could. These books are heavy. I cannot walk around with them. You get it. Yeah, what was up with that thing? I've tried to look at this, but ugh, come it's on. It's confusing because sometimes it feels like it wants you to stand somewhere specific and look at something, but that's not important. Yeah. Like, what's this view about? Right. Oh, boy, this mouse. Oh, this game's free on Steam, everyone. I can easily hear you. <laughs> Sorry, let me get closer to my microphone. <laughs> I think he's just bad at <laughs> Exactly, you get what you pay for. I really do. Okay. Uh, has anyone seen anything we missed in the library that I should be looking at more closely before we go upstairs here? Should you do the up the stairs cut scene again? It won't do it again. I, I wish I could. Let's see if the shadow looks like anything. Yeah, what's happening there? It's cool, though. It's a weird detail for the game, because it doesn't even really feel like an outside window. Yeah. Where there's no sunlight. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Anne thought she saw something on the hall on the floor. Okay, I'll go back and look at that. Helping the dog do a puzzle. What kind of puzzle is the dog working on? <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll let you do it. Doot, doot, doot. Let's try. No. Oh. You, get, you get that once. I I spent three days rendering that. You're not going to play it every time they go up the stairs? <laughs> yeah, really? Nobody wants to see it, Gary. Well, uh, why do you have art in your game at all? <laughs> Gary, please. Gary was like the Sherlock Holmes, like aficionado of the group that they hired. Gary's like, I don't think Sherlock would walk up the stairs that way. Like, I added a real jostle because he has kind of a gate, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I passed around uh, Chapter 4 of Baskervilles for you guys. Did you all read it? Yeah. It specifically says how he walks. I scanned it from my original copy. Yeah. So you've got, like, Conan and Doyle's notes. It's signed by Leroy Conan Doyle, uh, <laughs> the heir of the fortune. Oh, I kind of just gave up at the top. Yeah, they're just like books, copy, paste. <laughs> that was definitely in Gary's notes when they did like a whole group meeting. Anne's literally I love solving that your puzzles dog with has her dog. No fewer than five puzzles. That's a smart dog. He must do them in the correct order. Well, the puzzles are a puzzle in themselves. He'd be great at this game. Well, we live here now. Oh, great. Oh, God, I'm sort of in the sense that, like, we already did a puzzle in this room. Yeah, I know, but like, I feel like last time 
We were. I mean, last yeah. time you're right. We, we hadn't we done other puzzles, before. but I just want to be. Yeah, I don't want to have to beg Stodd for help like a baby, like we did last time. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we're done with this, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's look for uh, Ant's puzzle in the hallway. What have we done since we started the stream? Well, we were in. We started in this library. We arranged books from different parts of the room to. Um, to find the last book, which had the key to this door. Um, we also looked at a family tree, which I think was, no, it wasn't downstairs. It was in the, uh, the study. door got us into this hallway. The door goes in this hallway. And now we've searched a bunch of rooms in this hallway. Ancient. We used we found the, us. we used the dad trick to open a door. Mm -hmm. So now we've access to all these rooms. We found a safe. We need a key for. And we found a table we need puzzle pieces for. Yes, and I think at least one other locked door somewhere. Mon Cavernous Archaeological Trophies. It's very strange. So it feels like any of them on the ground floor. Feels like we need to get the safe open open to give us the pieces for the table, but that's assuming we haven't okay. missed a puzzle Anyone somewhere. Wanted to get the Mon Camp treasure? I don't think we missed a puzzle. We may have missed puzzle pieces. Um, but who knows? Yeah. Uh, we also may not need a key for that safe, and maybe something else. Like it looked like a weird. Okay, I won't. Force All right, there's this, which doesn't open. Force it. Did you try the bandage on it? Okay, I won't. Force e it. E e no. So if he doesn't want to force it, I assume he needs a key. Right, or it may just not be anything. Top hat up there? It's some kind of hat. I think it's like a helmet. How dare you game give us a top hat? <laughs> it's a real hat tease. So something, something is like clickable we haven't found yet. It feels like. Yeah, I... Uh... Oh, we found that that one room was broken into and that someone had been there because the fire was um, mm -hmm. still warm. We saw the guy on the roof. Oh, yeah. A hunting trophy. In my second favorite... Oh, A hunting trophy. Third favorite cutscene? <laughs> Wait, what's the... Your first is the mummy? <laughs> no, my uh. first is the stairs. Okay. My second is the mummy. And my third is the roof. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's keep a running tally on that. Yeah. Um, so no love at all for Holmes reading the letter on the way to the game beginning. Oh, you're right. Oh, he was so bouncy in that carriage. It's fourth. It's fourth. Okay. That's a respectable fourth. There's also this old timey camera that I don't think we can interact with from any angle. Uh -huh. Oh, we also found sand, sand. In here and in the bathroom, and mm -hmm. we've deduced that the person pretending to be a mummy took a bath. Seems or, it. Or, or somebody pulled that mummy out of that, pulled something out of that case and washed it off. Right. Or they gave the mummy a bath because that's just what their thing is. They just like doing that. <laughs> it's unrelated, you know, sand. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Once you get that sand, you got it everywhere. It's true. How's your dog doing on their puzzle? Is your dog faster than us? Probably. Ooh, mummies, plural. Yeah, multiple I feel mummies. Like, I feel like the puzzle in this room, are we in the bedroom? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Is What is this, Cairo? The puzzle in this room is going to be that table. Yeah. So we probably aren't going to find the pieces in this room, right? I'm trying yeah. to like narrow down a little bit. Like, yeah, I know. We did. I, I, but I, we... I don't think that's a guarantee. There's always something. Yeah. Chance of finding some more weird stuff. Like, there's this weird makeup. It's like, I don't even know what he's talking about because I guess it's just the makeup on the collar here. I guess so. This powder is makeup. I can use it as a disguise to look older. He says, I. But no, I mean, you're probably right that it's somewhere else. Um, it's just like, uh, never a guarantee. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out like, is there a place?
The bedroom had the puzzle desk. The office had the lock. The room we found the sand. Feels like there was a room in there somewhere that like kind of had nothing, and I I want maybe that's where we. There's like a dine. There's like a table, a dining room table room where we just that just yeah. adjoins here. That had the mummy case with the sand. It also has that old timey camera and the family tree. Yeah. Darkly's puppies finished all of their puzzles. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I guess. So. Remember when I said I was so happy because I fixed this mouse? <laughs> that did not end up being true. Can you search under the bed? I tried. What about all these like pictures on the wall? I've, I've moused There was over. that picture where it was like, we need to figure out who these two people are. Yeah. That's all I could do with that though. We can look at it again if you want. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything with this bed. Okay. Did you look in the hall? You did for the puzzle. Uh, There's something in the floor. I didn't pay much attention. Let me go back. Okay, so... Right, so we started this side. This is an, not an ancient statue. Mm-hmm. Covered. Okay. Okay. It's... We should wash their carpet or something, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's really dungy in here. Oh! It could prove useful. Good job, Anne. What is it? A fork. I don't want to force it. Try the fork. Okay. Hold on, wait. Um... Oh, okay. We are back in this room. Okay, I'll try to force it. Wait, no, this is uh, the adjoining room to this. Which was here. And the cabinet was over here. Okay, I won't force it. I feel like... Um, oh, I won't force it. I won't. Uh, let's go back to the desk and try it in there. In the on the safe. Yeah. He won't force <laughs> yeah, or won't fork. fork it. He Oops. won't fork it. Don't fork it up. Oh, I thought it was gonna not let you back into that room again. Maybe. Yeah, you're done now. <laughs> uh, study. Okay, so here's the safe. Uh. I need something to open it. Yeah. So this looks like a... Oh, it looks like it needs a gear. Okay, well, let's go back to the shelf with the gears, because I swear they wouldn't let me pick them up. I need, I need, but it I looks need, like it needs, like, something, right? It. Yeah. If it sits on a pedestal. Oh, this is a busy room. Okay. And you're under arrest for that joke. And oh, what about that telescope? You can't pick up the telescope writer. Uh, he just keeps saying, what is this spyglass for? What's this spyglass for? Can you use the fork on it? No reason not to try. It doesn't have like the symbol that something can be used with it. But yeah. that's been, I think before we've had issues with that being the case, so. Did the spyglass show you the guy outside? No, I just looked out the window without it. And you can't pick up those gear, that gear that's sitting over there, I assume. No, it doesn't seem like it. Because, like... What is this spyglass for? As soon as I get close to it, I'm in this view. So now it's over here, and I can't do anything here. Yeah, what about the one closer to you downstage, yeah? Uh -huh. I keep like accidentally resizing this window. This is like, oh, okay. So we need some kind of like, you're right. It doesn't look like a key. It looks like a, you need some kind of gizmo. Yeah. Now he's erased everything on the chalkboard. We can't look at the chalkboard. Maybe there was a secret board. hidden on the everything chalkboard. Has been look, he's clearly drawn a gear. Um, 
Now he has a potion and a gear and another potion. Is he Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Oh my gosh, I just found, this is very unrelated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I just discovered that oh, Michael oh, Caine did a, did a version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and I added that to my queue. I haven't watched it yet, but I want it. as a PSA to the world, there is somewhere a Michael Caine, Dr. Jekyll I and Mr. Hyde. I am extremely excited about that uh, I because wait. I think he would be very good in that role, or those dual yeah. roles. And I'm thinking of the part where he goes, how would the clerks like to suddenly find themselves unemployed? <laughs> and that's the Mr. Hyde. But that's the Mr. Hyde. He was letting his hide out on the Muppets. Uh, now, what year is this? I think that's an important question. Okay, yes, I will find it right now. Uh, you remember this thing, by the way? This other wall safe? Oh, This also doesn't that. open. I need and you can't fork it? it? I can't fork it. All right, Stodd looked into the future again because, Stodd, how is it that you are a game master who is so impatient? Because we are here uh, trying to just like live our lives. He's uh, empathetic to our struggle. I know. Um, all right. Don't tell us anything yet, Stud. You're being very supportive, yes. We have this fork. We haven't even gone to every room and used the fork every place we can. That's like. <laughs> 101. Uh, what is that blue thing? I don't, I'm don't. i sure you can't pick it up because you've looked at it so much. Can you fork that painting? <laughs> well, oh, whoa. Oh, what did it say this time? It says something about seeing a small crack, which I did not hear before. And I do have my inventory, which I don't usually have in these close-ups. Oh, I kind oh. of see the crack. Oh. Okay. Oh! Maybe this is the real register with the real stuff. Okay, Scrabble, good. Ah, uh, knife. Gold throne. Wax tablet. It just says knife. Okay, thanks, Dot. See, see, we uh, we got there. But Ryan, did you get to the part where it says gold money? Gold money. Here gold money. A whole collection of Lord Montcalf. I see valuable objects which I have not seen on the ground floor. Okay. And oh, I see. What's this that we picked up too? Cane. Don't force it. <laughs> What's that? No, wait on oh, me, Gettys. The... I'm Charles Foster Kane. <laughs> okay. In 1990, Ooh. Michael Kane. I need. I need. I, I, I need some. What is this spyglass for? Sorry, go ahead. 1990, Michael Kane. It's called Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, it also stars Cheryl Ladd. Right, yes. And... Do you want to scroll through? I need something to open it. Oh, he also did a Jack the Ripper movie? Whoa, he did? Yeah. Michael Caine has had quite a career. I need I need I need I need I need I need something to open it. Well, I was going to try to tell you guys where you are. You can all watch it so that you can have a great weekend. But um Oh, it's on BritBox. Oh. I just got, I just got BritBox for Christmas. So that's a little bit of a brag. Okay, it's on Amazon for 3.99. So, a happy weekend everyone. <laughs> that's worth it. So, you found the I need real some register. Some, I need some. Found the and real register cane. and a cane. Michael Kane. What is this spyglass for? Okay, well, let's look for places where a cane might go. Yeah, have we found it? Oh, what about in that box? I tried it. No, you tried it. I tried it while you were talking about Cheryl Ladd. <laughs> Devolve. Um. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. What else? What else has had those kinds of moments in the game where we looked at it for no reason? Like, what about that photograph where we had to pick who it was? Or the, can you punch a hole with your cane in the stained glass window? <laughs> ah, okay. I'll, I don't think so because um, 
That one I specifically didn't have any kind of inventory option yeah. when I was in the close-up, but let's okay. go through them all. He was the one who wanted to get the Montcamp treasure. Lord Montcamp didn't like him so much. Murderer too, not only just thief, but murderer. I wonder who yeah. he murdered. Um And it's his brother, right? I don't know. I can't read that tree. Could be nephew. Aha, uh -huh. Lord Montcamp in Egypt. I wonder who the people standing by him are. Feels like one of probably Lord what's his name? Yeah. Montcalf and his archaeological trophies. It's very strange, but I have not seen any of I guess that picture was supposed to tell us that there was another registry, because he was like, here's all his favorite things. I haven't seen them in the house. Yeah, that's true. Maybe you have to reach and get something. Or... What else is in your pocket? Just the Can bandage you and the... things? No, I don't think so. Just the bandage and the cane. Um. Maybe someone's gonna, like, kick you in the shins later and the game is like, you're gonna need this. You're gonna need this cane. Oh, use the cane on the scratchy painting. Yeah. I wish you could fork the painting. Is there a is there a scrap missing in the painting and you have to put the bandage in? I know it's not a painting, it's like a hieroglyphic papyrus thing. Uh not that I can see, but let's see mm -hmm. here. Mm hmm. No. And it's not giving you that sign that says you need a tool, right? Right. Can you reach up and smack the ceiling fan? Hmm. Oh! No, I need something long. You're right. You are exactly <laughs> right somehow. No, I need something long. It's long enough. No, I need it's definitely long. long. Thank what do we... you. No, I need something. Thank long. you, Ghost Dunk. What do you need? Something long to do what? Well, how would I have known to interact with the ceiling fan? <laughs> you need something long. There's I mean, oh, oh, you're oh it's to right here. I see it now. Something on the blade of the fan. Okay. There's something on the there's something there's there's something on the blade. Weird, won't you knock it down that way? No, I need something long. Can you go get the telescope and knock there's it down? Something on the blade of the fan. Jump. Just jump, yeah. Let me hit space to jump. No, oh, that's not it. There's there's something on the blade of the fan. That's crazy that you can't use no, the cane and knock that down. Something long. Is there something in the room that's long? Is there something in your eyes tonight? I can feel it. <laughs> Get that right. You need to wash your eyes out. Oh God. But what, yeah, what's that? Can you pick up any of those trees? <laughs> I just sure toss a tree, tree at the ceiling fan. <laughs> I'm not sure a palm tree would grow inside. It's probably fake. You know, Lord Moncalf. Ryan, someone's let the mummy bird loose. Is check if there's sand. Maybe that's what they were washing off in the bathroom. Oh god. Oh god, I gotta clean this bird off fast. <laughs> we're Lord Monclap sees. Can you get a coat hanger or something? Take the costume with the powder. No. Maybe I can combine yeah, I mean... the cane with the powder to do an old yeah. man routine. <laughs> Oh, it feels like there's a second thing in there now. Oh no, I just never noticed it before. Can you? Do you just need to be standing at a different angle to that? Uh, is makeup. Um. I can use it band. disguise to look older. Maybe so. Let's try it. It's as good an idea as any. Uh, it's on this blade, right? So. 
No. Hmm. Can you get a chair and stand on it? I mean, I've interacted. Is there a hat in this room you can put on? Really think about it. Okay. Now, those are director style chairs, which you shouldn't stand on. You're no. gonna break. Although you've done that many times. Uh-huh, and I broke it. Yep. Can you stand on the table? Can you push the table over? I don't have a push over button. Ryan, jump on the table. All I can do and is push click. It over. I can click. That's all I can do. Oh, sure, the game's not working. <laughs> oh, I had to download a thing and program it. Uh, oh, it's the game's fault. It's free, not oh, me. That's a shockingly accurate impression of me. <laughs> that's why it's so oh, hard. I'm the maid. The maid says you now, shouldn't use oh, your chat. Once track. again. Once again. <laughs> Can I go forward okay. at all? Is it is it possible we need something else that's long? I mean, that yeah. is so rude of them. Yeah, no, it's completely possible. I will be writing a letter of complaint. <gasps> okay, what else haven't we opened? We have the safe, we have the thing on the wall, the puzzle box on the bed stand. Where haven't we, like... The thing through. you won't force. The thing I won't force, which I tried the cane on. Was there a cane in the foyer or just the hat? It uh, might have been an umbrella, but there was something in the stand. I did look through the stand. I tried to use the cane with it, and I tried to pick it up before. Again, I could be wrong. I mean, I could be, you know, it just didn't do it right. Can you turn the fan on? Uh, is not there a switch? See. Like on the wall? Yeah, this suggestion is coming courtesy of our father. Good thinking, Dad. Just take a bath, Ryan. Like, you earned oh, it, Sherlock. I just need to... Just relax. <laughs> Let the, the thoughts come to you. You know, they say the best ideas happen in the shower. I do say that. No doubt. It is the same sand I saw in the broken stand in the living room. Does Morpheus take five? Um, okay, I can try looking for a switch. I wonder if the box on the wall turns on, like, the fan in the other room. Um, Possible. Okay, so you need you need the there's the wardrobe you won't force. Yeah. The puzzle table. The box on the wall. The safe in the desk. Is that it? Um, I think so. Are there like ceiling fans I've missed up here. Now you're gonna check every light fixture. Do you I know. The toilet? I, yeah, I tried. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. Now, there's also the picture we have to decide who's in it. Yeah. Maybe the stained glass window. That feels mm, not right. Um, anything else we looked at for a long time for no reason? Oh, there's uh, a fake uh, Monet. Um, oh. Which one? This one? Mm-hmm. How do you know it's a fake Monet? A reproduction of it. It's just in that style. Oh, I see. Um. Okay, so this it's is that. the painting that looks similar to. Um. Let's go back to the study for a second. There's so much going on in this room. Can we like stoke the fire with this cane? Or like search the ashes? Fake Dagon. I apologize. Um. You should apologize. There's one other thing that we were like looking hard at. Oh, the um, ooh, what? What is a telescope? That one. Oh yeah, the spyglass. That's in here. Not as empty as it is supposed to be. Kane opens the safe somehow. It doesn't uh, really make any sense, but I tried. Uh, I tried using it on it. Oh. Yeah. What is this spyglass for? Is it for indeed? Yeah. 
So there's five things we need to open and three things we keep looking at. And we have a cane. Uh huh. I need something to open it. All right, let's listen. Your tone, Sherlock. Not be helping. A little more I need. I, I, I need. What is this spyglass? Can we take uh, apart the spyglass? I can't Can do we... anything other than say, "What is this spyglass for?" Unless there's a part of it that I haven't. What is, what, 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 you yeah. know, like it's a part of it that does something different. Is this spyglass for? Okay, now House of Darkly has an excellent idea. Uh huh. I don't think we should rule it out. Yeah. Perhaps you need to be doing a tap dance routine oh. with the mummy. <gasps> My dear uncle. Yeah, go ahead. I'm writing again to sol solicit and ask to trade your treasure. Oh, this is from Everybody... Parquet. Oh. So, so, so Parquet's his, his nephew. Okay. Everybody Which makes sense. That's why he's a different last name. That you are now feeling unwell, and I think in your present state, you will not be you will not be able to make the right decisions concerning the valuable artifacts you possess. I am asking you to provide me with a register, and I will be happy to help manage your family treasure. So maybe he gave him the fake register. Possible, although we have that. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Do not forget that no one is immortal! Exclamation point, exclamation point. Sort of point. a threat. Now, um, that is also how I sign my email, so that's kind of crazy. <laughs> hey, um, I was wondering <laughs> if I could get that um, new um, uh, report by Thursday. Don't forget that no one is immortal, Ashley. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Ashley. So he definitely was trying to take over. Now, how, where did you find that? It was just on the desk. It was uh, in this drawer, I think. But I've tried to get it from this angle before, and but I had to get it from mm -hmm. the other angle, I guess. Of course. No one is immortal. Yes. Tell that to the very real mummy. <laughs> um, you know, that didn't really help, but that was more clues, I guess. I think he's definitely like Im been impersonating his uncle. Mm hmm. I could see that. And like selling fake heirlooms. Yeah, I could see that. Okay. I'm going to look at every ceiling now. Yeah. You can't pick up the spyglass or anything. I know I keep asking you this, but it just feels weird. We must have to bring something to the spyglass. Do you have a piece of paper? Can you can you put one of your pieces of paper next to the spyglass and maybe we're going to like read something? I only have this bandage. This oh, I thought you meant like a letters or something. What, what is this oh, I can't use those as inventory. I mean, I, you know, I could easily be missing something here, but the only thing I could seem to do is click on this and it says, what's this by glass for? It says, what is this by is glass is yes. for? <laughs> it, yes. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, mm. What if I use the bandage on the chalkboard to wipe it up clean? Yeah. Wipe it clean. Blackboard. Everything has been erased. This also looks like I should be able to pick it up. Yeah. So he was like building something or something. What was he building in there? And Elizabeth wasn't allowed in there. All right. Unless it was the nephew impersonating the uncle telling Elizabeth not to go in there. Because remember, she was like, you haven't been home for a while. Yeah. So now I want to make sure to visit you. Yeah, I think that's completely possible. And there's a razor. Did he have a beard? Hmm. And he had to, like, try to look like him? Yeah. Did the uncle, maybe the uncle was clean shaven. Okay, wait. Just right here. 
I have a little hand in that tiny spot. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna murder you. Nah, it doesn't do anything. Can you turn on the tap? I don't think so. Ironically, we already used the soap. You have like buckets there to, to fill something. You already drained the tub. Mm-hmm. I've been told multiple times that you refuse to put the robe on. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Uh okay, so we've done a pretty good job of the bedroom and the bathroom and the study. I feel like. Yeah. We gotta have... get that hat down. Gotta get the hat down. God, this game is such a hat tease. Let's see. Use just... that gun and just shoot it down. <laughs> this old gun might be dangerous. That's just what I need. <laughs> this old this old gun might be dangerous. The idea that you would have to like Indiana Jones style like switch them out really quick. Yeah. Um there's the same sand. Well, there's the same sand as in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, you know what sand seems looks to like. have gone for a walk. Strange, there's sand here. Okay. The gun looks dangerous. Can you pick up those spears? That would be tall or long. I believe I've tried, but I will try again. Thanks, Dad. Whoa! What did you do? I clicked on the lion with the cane, I think. <gasps> and you found a present. Oh! oh. oh. This package is for Elizabeth Moncalf. Her father loved her very much. We didn't get the guy in to record this one. Sorry. <laughs> a little ribbon that says Elizabeth. Great. These are the pieces to that puzzle. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. All, all right. I understand. I right. let me out. Okay. Thanks, wow. Stud. Whenever Stud looks something up and goes, "Hmm," <laughs> we just come to it accidentally right away. Technically, Stodd hasn't given us any actual hints. He just looks something up, believes in us, and we do it. How's it, Darkly? I think you're forgetting that not only did they give her several random pieces of a puzzle, but also a sash that says her name. Yeah, so she doesn't forget. It's a true gift. Okay, well, let's see if I can wrestle the mouse to the other room. Um, okay, that was in here. I know, Stodd. You, you're the real VIP of this stream. All right. Here we go. Here we go. If anyone can do a puzzle box, it's this pair. <laughs> Forget the time that we couldn't open that one door because of all of the ancient pieces. <laughs> Other than the time we couldn't do it. <laughs> all right. This is less of a puzzle and more of just like a place. Also, it's just the same design that's already on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Here it is. Cracked it wide open. <laughs> One eye, two lady, three cat, four dude. Okay. Okay. Can we look at it again quickly. for a second? Yes, but let's look at what this is too. My dear old friend, I'm writing you to confirm the translation made in Cairo considering the scroll found close to Momphis XI's Sarcophagus. I'm gonna say sarcophagus. It's a curse concerning anyone who might violate the tomb. Nothing really new. It's kind of your standard curse. In fact, it was there to discourage Zabas or robbers. Of course, it's a belief from another time and does not relate to the problems you had during your last expedition. You're not cursed or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. A. Bigadine. Okay. 
Uh, I bet these are the parts of the painting we have to touch, right? So yes. I, lady, cat, spear guy. I, lady, cat, spear. Oh. Open your door to me. You know how important it is for me to see ceremonial items. I love you too much to tell you this secret. God, I hope she will forgive me one day. I cannot put her in danger. He was keeping her out of the study to protect her from danger, Ashley. We called it. I mean, it was one of our many. Yeah, there you go. Also, I like that he wrote that note like to himself. Yeah. Okay. Hi, lady cat fear. Okay, so over here. Okay. I. I. Lady. Cat. Spear. Ha ha! Holmes wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> you okay. need something long to get the hat! Now I have a different cane. This cane is a cane I like a little better. <laughs> it's a little bit longer. <laughs> That's it, sister. There's something on the There's something I know! On the of the fan. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's, oh. I was turning it on. He needed a hook, a it, crook. It sounds like I really broke that. <laughs> Sherlock didn't so much find a clue as he just like got warm and he just wanted to like circulate some air. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> two broke. canes and two hats. <laughs> that mummy can now <laughs> take part of it. <laughs> Uh, also, I broke this lamp in the process. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I gotta sure write not. a note now. Dear Lady Moncalf, I'm See if so it was sorry. On the expensive stuff register or the not expensive stuff <laughs> register? Because <laughs> you gotta figure out kind of like what, how sorry you are about it. Yeah. Okay, we're moving what along. Is the, what is the gold thing you have in your pocket? It now? looks like a little scarab. I'm imagining it opens the safe. Cool. I'm on board. Man, I hope that I hope that in the end we give the mummy the Elizabeth sash, <laughs> and the mummy gets to wear it. Now, <laughs> like a fan, like the fancy king he is. You are Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> you were Elizabeth all along. You were Elizabeth the whole time. <laughs> you could have gotten home. You're the wizard. You're the wizard. <laughs> That's that classic part of Wizard of Oz where the wizard tells Dorothy that she is a wizard. No, I haven't played the Nancy Drew series, and I really want to. I want to do as a kid and somehow missed out on it. Oh, uh, it looks just like that thing, Ryan. Did you notice that, or were you just guessing? Well, no, I guess mostly guessing. I knew there was something that fit on <laughs> top like that, you know? I heard that that was on purpose, and you were looking for that piece the whole yes, time. Yes, that's what it was. Oh, a gun. That gun looks dangerous. <laughs> nice statue. <laughs> Dawn of Gods. This a... is an artifact. A real museum. <laughs> Association for the Promotion of Archaeological Research. My lord. Following your last telegram from Cairo, we are sending you the second letter confirming that we will cover you like that one. The period is really making me laugh. <laughs> yeah. My oh, lord. My period. lord. It's maybe the best way to open any <laughs> correspondence ever. My lord. <laughs> <laughs> Have I buckle up. <laughs> this is I know <laughs> the last time. I know we're the Dawn of God's Association for the Promotion of Archaeological <laughs> Research, but my lord. <laughs> if you don't pull yourself together. Oh, God. Okay. Following your last telegram from Cairo, we are sending you... Turn off the saxophone! My God! <laughs> we are sending you the second letter confirming that we will cover your expenses for the expedition you will conduct. Please keep in mind that we insist on keeping our correspondence in total secret. So destroy this letter or lock it up in your scarab desk. Sure. Upon your return, you will partly be able to furnish your manor. You'll partly be able to, oh. To make some kind of private collection, I hope that during the next trip, you will enlarge it. What? <laughs> We're sending you the second 
letter confirming that we will cover your expenses for the expedition you will conduct. Right. Keep it a secret. Okay. I think they're saying you can have this part for your private collection, uh, which is technically not allowed, so don't tell anybody. Yeah. Is that what they're saying? That's what I'm getting out of it. Best wishes, Jay. Okay. Okay, same please. People, sir, we know that your last expedition was more successful than you officially said. Our association is aware that you have kept some items which you were supposed to hand over to our representatives. We are not going to make this affair public and dishonor your name, but we are ready to use any means at our disposal to get back what belongs to us. Anubis is on our side. They sent a mummy assassin. <laughs> Mummy assassin. I can't wait. I do not like weapons which I don't know. I will not take it with me. Well, you could examine it for clues, Sherlock. I guess. I know. Usually, we bring Watson and make Watson have a gun. I do not. I, 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 I do not like weapons which I don't know. I will not take it with me. Okay. Uh, so we know. Basically, he was stealing Egyptian artifacts. I mean, yeah, either or, Lord Moncalf was or the brother, or the nephew. The nephew. Is it fair to say that they, like, sanctioned... Why? I'm very excited. Hold on. Did that really just happen? It feels like now we're allowed to open it, like we earned the right. Why Why now? Did it, maybe I both of, you. maybe the, the safe also opened this? Maybe. Okay, slidey puzzle. I like these. This is what I was telling you before. What were uh, you saying before? A Chinese tile puzzle. Is that what it's called? It is. Interesting. It has a Mandarin name I don't know. So we, where do we think? It looks like maybe, oh no, this goes up there. Okay, so let's see. This is gonna be the next hour of the stream. Although Ryan, you're cracking through it, dude. You're good at these. Uh, I'm okay. I there is a way to do this like mathematically that I always forget. So uh -huh. did the um, Dawn of Gods, which is a great name for a club. Yes. Um, sanction one of the uh, trips. They he they uh, sponsored paid for one of the trips. And, but the, under the assumption that he was going to take a certain amount, but he took mu too much. Uh, yeah, I think the first letter we read was first, and they were like, "Hey, don't tell anybody," or for whatever reason, I now don't understand why. But uh, yeah, like keep it under your hat because we're going to do this great mission. And then they were like, "Hey, you stole some cool stuff that we wanted." Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if that's right or not. You're killing it. Thank you. Uh, I can't figure out what that, uh, yeah. Is it? I think that is an arm that goes all the way left. That piece, yeah. Oh, okay. This, so, okay, so this goes this way. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then is it just this is on this side? Yeah, I think so. This last couple are always hard. You're so close. Let's see if I can find what the name for this is, which I have looked up recently. Chinese sliding black puzzle. Oh, 
Okay, the Western version of it is a klotzki, which is possibly a Polish term, but it was actually invented by China, of course. Yes. A pass sliding block puzzle. H U A R O N G. Who read wrong? Maybe. I don't know how to pronounce that. And there's actually a story. The uh, traditional ones have a story hidden inside them. Oh. About the Eastern Han Dynasty. Well, this one had a key. Uh, what key do we need? The wardrobe? Is that where we need to go? Sorry. I got distracted by the cutest old man I've ever ah. seen in my life. That's pretty great. He's the professor who's telling us all about it. I'm good at puzzles. <laughs> I know. He described it in 1949 in his book, Science Entertainment. <laughs> I would I, love to read that. I like science that can also be entertainment. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. well, didn't have to force it. It's very nice, but it has no value. It's well, fake. that's fascinating. You guys should all look up the history of that. Um, Did you fork it? I didn't have to force it. I picked this up and Holmes was like, it's very nice, but it's fake. Uh, which was And what? is it empty? The scepter. Uh -huh. No, the scepter is what I picked out of there. Oh, the scepter was in it. Uh, the scepter, the scepter. Okay. Okay, so we have a scepter. Ooh, so you still have the cane that you used to knock the hat. Yeah, which is a little a little unusual. I must have to use it again for yeah. something. Um, scepter, cane, a sign that says Elizabeth, says a ribbon actually, and mm -hmm. bandage, a crook and flail. I don't know what that oh, means. Oh, I see. The pharaoh usually has them crossed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I, I can picture that now that you mentioned it. Got it. I wonder if there's a body that needs those added to it. Yeah. Good point, everybody. Oh, okay. Where haven't we done? I mean, it's not here, right? Because these are the. This is just dust. Okay. Oh. We got the. We got the. There were five things we couldn't get open. We got the wall thing open. We got the the desk open. We got the the. What's what I'm looking for? Safe open. Uh huh. Wall desk safe. We got the chest of drawers open. There was one other thing. The black puzzle? You said that? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, right. Okay, so. Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. This ah. is not ancient. Good thinking, guys. Chat solves it. That was oh, so smart. Guys. Maybe he also needs a sign that says Elizabeth <laughs> on him. Oh, that was it. Bingo. Hmm. <laughs> he just sticks it to his face. Okay. You know what I would have loved to see there is him going down the stairs. <gasps> Shadow of the Mummy! Yeah! Okay, that's interesting. So this sign, the Elizabeth was not part of it. It was just clicking on it. Save your game. Good thinking. Oh, Stodd mentions the music, and boy, it's nice to be done with that saxophone. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Woo! I couldn't hear it, so you took the brunt of that. Is it too low? Do people want me to raise the... I don't want people to not be able to hear the game. What are you drinking, Scott oh. asks? Thanks for asking. Uh, it's just Diet Coke, but it's in this oh, I cannot glass, I which glows in the dark. <laughs> I don't want to brag. And it says, Sci-Fi Diner, and it's from Disney World. <laughs> I remember that. I still have my uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, ice cube, I think, in my freezer. Someone had dinner here a few I don't hours remember the ago. last time I... Okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna put it under this lamp and hope... Yeah, warm up that Coke. Go. Yeah, I gotta get the it to glow. Is always useful. 
So someone had dinner Same here. A few mm -hmm. hours ago. Oh. Yeah, that Epcot Tumblr. Yeah, I think I can picture that, and those are cool. Yeah. This one is from that uh, drive-in diner place where you like sit in the cars and you watch terrible movies. Pretty much my favorite like, spot. Yes, in it feels like Ryan's happy Hollywood place. Ooh. Using this room to sleep in. in Hollywood Studios. It Maybe it's the butler who opened the door for me. That's strange. We went as a family a couple uh, years ago, which is when I got. Uh, no one asked for your life story. <laughs> I need something to open it. Okay, so there's something in the floor we need to open. So somebody's definitely here. They're eating. Stick. Oh, you have matches now. What is this sort of like? Oh, uh, is it a flask? It's a or water. Bread? Yeah, a water flask. It was all material. Yeah, are we? Are we locked down here? Are we in another locked room? Yeah, I think we're locked down here. I, I I clicked on a door and he says, "I'm not going out." So I think that meant he was committed to this room pretty hard. I'll try it again though. Um, oh. So we've got some barrels of wine or something, whiskey, I guess maybe. Oh, there's another hammer. Okay. Oh, uh, bust them all open and get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get turn. <laughs> oh, no luck. Where was the floorboard part? I didn't see that. Under this mattress over here. This green mattress. Mm. Which, this, this hammer might be what we need, but let's see if there's anything else here first. No. Lord Montcalf had good taste. Look, there's some gin hidden behind these bottles. <laughs> Lord Montcalf had good taste. He put good gin behind all this wine. <laughs> well, you're, you're, maybe you're just collecting a nice dinner. Yeah, this looks pretty okay. Got liquor, I got gin. Is that a pipe? I missed you picking that up. That's a stick, I guess. Oh, it's a stick, sure. That's what it's, it's called. It could be a pipe. I still have a sign that says Elizabeth. I think that's gonna come in handy. Like another steam power. Yeah. Machine. Interesting. The bottom seems to be made to fit to circular objects. The, hmm. the bottom seems to be made to fit a circular object, so there's some kind of like, yeah. I can't tell exactly what he's referring to. Yeah, I can't see, quite see it either. It's all dark. Okay, well, not that. Maybe the water flask. No. Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, Is a water flask just like a thermos? I Yeah, I would guess. It feels like flask is misnamed, as you guys are pointing out. I think it's a canteen. It, I would say uh, a flask can hold anything. Uh, a flask of poison. True. A pestle with the... What is it? A vessel with the pestle. A vessel with the pestle? Is the brew that is true? A Break flag. just like all the those wine can... bottles. Uh, Maybe there's a hidden message in one of them. Wondering that you got wire lamps. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, today's... There's a, a particular, like, style of flask that is for liquor, but I think the word flask can be other things. Oh. Well, we don't agree. Fair enough. Okay, I picked up another... This whole room is so sort of, like, dark. Maybe it's just my screen. I feel like I, I have no idea what's happening. I know, me too. Uh, I picked up another liquor bottle, though. Okay. You're having a party. Yeah. It's like turning into Elizabeth's bachelorette party. Like someone's wearing a sash with their name on it and everyone's like picking up like wine and gin and you're like, okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if these all mix, but. <laughs> you're in like a locked room and no one's paying attention how to get out of it. Okay. Is that a putt-putt? Oh no, that's the mattress. <laughs> yeah, it's a small putt-putt course in the it back. It looks like one of those little, yeah, tester putt-putt things. Oh. Okay, so we've got Spain Vine. We have got an empty bottle. This is going to be a math problem. Yeah. Got water. We have got gin, liquor, or liqueur. Okay. And um, a bourgeonnet. <laughs> it's building a mini golf course. <laughs> Sounds fun, honestly. Oh. 
So can you go back to that thing that needed a circle and maybe put the empty one in? I've got another stick, Ashley. Come on, don't. I'm sorry. Don't run over it. I'm so sorry. I wish I could uh, turn the turn way I. Turn back time. Get back a time, back and time. Okay, well, let's see here. It does feel like Sherlock has discovered that someone was just here having dinner. And he's like, all right, time to snap into action. I'm going to need two sticks. <laughs> I'm going to need four bottles of mysterious liquor, a flask <laughs> with water. With water. And a sash that says Elizabeth, because I just feel like that would be special for me. <laughs> I've been carrying around this bandage. It's an emotional moment is when I confronted my fear of mummies. <laughs> This is a personal item for me. <laughs> I'm not looking for any <laughs> input on it. The matches are in case somebody wants out. to throw me a birthday party. Oh. I didn't want to mention it, but it is my birthday. <laughs> oh, sure. <well. laughs> I didn't know I'd be alone in this mansion. <laughs> okay. What about the hammer? Oh. Oh. Is it the oh. statue stolen from the ambassador? Strange. Oh, the statue that I was, was imagining stolen. imagining a larger statue. Oh, it's like a little guy. Little so that's guy? the statue little that guy? was stolen from the embassy that the Lord Moncalf had donated. It turns out that Lord Moncalf think... already had it. Or perhaps the nephew. So pro there's a possible accomplice? Possible. Because the nephew had an alibi. Yes, you're right. Someone had dinner here a few. Someone had dinner here a few hours Somebody's ago. Somebody's getting married. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what. Uh, what is he talking about here? Is he gonna, can you tell me again? Is it? meant for a circle or something is the phrase I remember. And maybe it's back here. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six indentations. Is this really not any one Can't of these? Quite see it. Oops. Uh, the pen board? Oh, did you already? I'm sorry. Sorry, what'd you say? I was going to see if you tried the empty one in this little crevice, but Stodd has a good point about the pegboard as well. I'll try the pegboard. I didn't see an interaction spot in the pegboard, but I will try. Um, I did maybe try the, the empty... Maybe the sticks go in the pegboard. I can see that. I don't know why, but I can see it. What would I do if I had that much alcohol in my basement? I would have some... This guy's ready for quarantine. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, I just wanted to try all the bottles. Or what? This guy. That was just for me and my friends, not about Ria, and don't worry about it. What? I think he said circle. Is it possible I'm misremembering that? Yes, he said circle. Of matches again and a bunch of alcohol. Maybe you do have to put the bandage in the empty bottle and set it on fire and you're going to make like a Molotov cocktail. Maybe you're using the sash. Try it again. I don't think, so far we've not been able to combine anything in the inventory. Yeah. But I will try again. Yeah. It seems like you can combine them usually when you like find the spot. Like yes. you found the furnace and you could put in the newspapers and the liquor. Yes. But we haven't gotten to a let's explode the basement spot yet, it feels <laughs> <Yeah>. like. <laughs> or we're just not trying hard enough. I mean, let's see. It's true. Is, there's this wall over here that looks like it should be explodable. Okay, try it. I don't see a spot, though. Uh, let's go look at the pegboard. Or stod. Sort of odd, like maybe we have to rearrange them. Uh, mm -hmm. I have not seen, I've clicked all the barrel stud and I've not seen a, an interaction point that you could break, but I'll try anyway. Um, just Donkey Kong style. 
Use yeah. your little wrench. If I oh, if you look down, it looked like there might have been some kind of string on the ground or something. Where? Uh, it, it was oh right there. Oh, maybe it's just a crack. Oh no, it's uh, a crowbar. Sorry, I'm pointing like you can't see it. So the, see the barrel, and then just bo bottom left of the barrel. Yep. Let's scroll. Oh. Yep, right there. Can you see it? Am I crazy? Okay. Oh, right there. <laughs> it's like a curve and a straight line. What are you so... talking about? I don't see anything. <laughs> okay. So, or, okay. Right there. You're on it. You're oh, on it. I you're see. Hot. No, that's you're that's hot. a crack. That's a crack. Oh, I thought it was a crowbar. Yeah, right? I see what you're saying. Now it's a crack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll go. <laughs> yeah. Can you? I'd feel better <laughs> yes. if you left. Yes, that was it. That was a crowbar. Oh god, this. Oh, I'm literally. My mouse is in the opposite direction. <laughs> I can see both your hands, and we're spinning. Okay. How does that? All right. Yeah, Sherlock just likes to twirl. He does. Now that's just gonna walk me forward. Why of all the places in this house did our saboteur decide to have his dinner in this creepy wine cellar? Because he thought Sherlock Holmes isn't smart enough to get here. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you gotta be able to crack something open. I mean, I and do... that wall does look very explodable. Bingo. It is echoing. There is a room behind. Oh. How can I open this wall? Okay, so that wall is exploding. Bingo. 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 It is echoing. There well, we got How lucky there. How can I open this wall? How can I open this wall? Oh, you know what? I bet we're supposed to see the sand. This scent oh. is not coming from that room. There's something behind this wall. Okay. Can you apply the empty bottle to the wall? Yeah. I mean, we'd want the liquor bottle, if anything. I'll try them all. We have too many bottles of liquor. Like, I, I don't know. There must be something else we need to do in this room. Maybe not. Yeah, it's not as a point. Maybe now we can try this shelf again. Can't yeah. do anything with this wall. Bingo. It is echoing. There Bingo. There is a room behind. How can I open this wall? He also says, how can I open this wall, not how can I destroy this wall completely. Hmm. Something goes there. Uh Apparently, the word bingo has been around since the 16th century, and I just didn't know that. Well, how long has the game bingo been around? Because mm. that's got to be where it comes from. Played by the French aristocracy. <laughs> Previously known in the UK as Housey Housey. <laughs> housey Housey. The UK is just asking to get purple nurpled every time. Honestly, the silliest. I know we're the second um, bearer of, it, of the language, but it feels like they really went crazy with it. Hmm. It's an Italian lottery game. But, oh. So you have two sticks. I haven't tried the stick on the wall. Maybe two sticks are to hold up the Elizabeth banner to, like, welcome her home. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Oh, weirdly, that's not working. No! Alright, well, the game's broken. 
that matches. What if I use the bandage on the wall? Or if I put a bandage in one of these barrels? Hmm. I still kind of think that bandage, we've held on for to it for so long. It feels like it's gonna be like our proof to something. No, I cannot go out. Yeah. But maybe, maybe the ba Elizabeth Banner. See Elizabeth Banner? Is it is it paper? Is it fabric? Uh, it's a ribbon. A ribbon. Oh, so you can tie things together. Can you tie the sticks together? I don't. Oh, wait. I am getting a. I am weirdly getting a mechanical icon. Okay, you could tie bottles together. Oh, am I suddenly getting that for everything though? Okay, wait, wait, can I put the stick? I tried the sticks together, didn't I? Huh. The um, banner and empty bottle. Oh, it's a ribbon though, so it's not gonna work. Um, maybe we have to like combine the liquors into the bottle. Well, see, look, I'm not getting a I'm not getting a, a tool icon. So you're only getting it with the, with the Elizabeth ribbon? I think I'm only getting it with the sticks. Aha. Uh -huh. Although, if I do a stick to something else, I'm not getting it. But anything I do to the stick has it. Hmm. What if I light the stick on fire? Like a Make like a torch. Yeah. I guess you could dip the stick in alcohol and light it on fire. Yeah, but using the stick on something else doesn't seem to do it. Yeah. Go back out. What else is in this room? So we've got a we've got a uh, shelf that needs a circle. Yeah. And is that the only other thing we can interact with in this room? And we've got a wall that needs torn down. Right. I think that's it. I mean, we got the stuff out from below the mattress. I think we're done with that. Feels like the shelf is going to unlock the wall. Yeah. What was so, on the ground? I don't know. Where'd you see it, Stud? No. You may think it's a crowbar, but let me tell you, it's a crack. And you're mm. not going to believe it when people tell you that. <laughs> but it is. Yeah, nothing. You do have a sweet, sweet hammer. Can you bust open that mattress? Like Can you set see... the mattress on fire? To see if... Okay. This doesn't seem like it would help. Can you pick up that fork? Because uh... it turns out forks are really useful in this world. <laughs> Someone had dinner here a few hours ago. Someone had dinner here a few hours ago. Oh, I wonder who lit that candle. No, I thought we were going to use the flame or something. Maybe. I wonder who lit that mm. candle. I wonder who lit that candle. I wonder who is who the candle in candle. the wind. Seems to me you lived your life. <laughs> I wonder who lit that candle. Uh, I don't know. I wonder. Who lit that candle? So you have you have water, gin, wine, liqueur. Uh, Boujane. What is Boujane? I don't know. I guess some kind of wine. Gin, Boujane, water, empty bottle, empty. liqueur, Spain vine. Which may be wine. Oh, thank you. Wine from Burgundy region. Um, thank you. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Okay. Can you go back to that hole? I feel like you've got to fill that shelf with the bottles in, like, the right order. Although I cannot, for life of me, see what you're doing in that shelf. It's too dark. 
So do you see a little dark spot right here? And then one right here. Here, I, here, here. Back in the grayer area back here. I don't see that, but I trust you. Wait, Stott's looking at the floor again. <laughs> On the floor. Where's Sad? Should I back up? There's sort of a drippingness over there. Um... By the wine racks. Uh, Stad, I don't want to surprise you, but that's everywhere in this room. <laughs> <laughs> By the shelving, I think maybe he means? Is it over here? Perhaps. Uh, I don't see anything here. Borgonya. 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 Okay. Might be helpful. Who knows? Borgonya. Well, you are on PCP, Stud, but that's just how <laughs> you always are. A gal on a PCP. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't classic. thought about that forever. It's a classic sketch. Yes. Um, I, okay, so we got to put these bottles in the circles, but I can't see what the circles are, so I can't help you at all. Is the, Are they alphabetical? <laughs> <laughs> I—I I mean, I'm only guessing what he's referring to. Like, way back here... Yeah. In the gray part instead of the wood part. There and are... you're getting a little... Yes. Cool. Well, but I'm getting that all... I'm getting that over here, too. So I don't know. I'm getting... Maybe but yes. we need to use the water to, like, wipe it down so we can see better. Let's use everything in order. Let's use the bandage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Surprisingly not helpful. All right. Hammer. <laughs> Does it come with the drugs, like as an immersive experience, like as a packet? Should. Like the scratch and sniff stickers from Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah. Maybe you're moving too quickly for the game. Maybe you're moving too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Is this helpful? I think you're moving at the exact right speed, right? Hmm. Hmm. How many circles do you see? Uh, there are four lights! <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, potentially. Okay, and do we have five one, bottles? Two, one, two, three, three yeah. four, five, yes. But maybe it's like a weight thing and we have to put water in some of the bottles. That's what I thought it was going to be. But so far we can't interact these things with each other. Let's double Gosh. check. And you try, you use the match because you guys you're going motor. Right. Use the match, just burn it all <laughs> down. I wish. Let's see, is this anything? Two sticks. We're definitely like building something, or you know, there's a contraption afoot. Yeah. Is there like a lamp somewhere that you can turn on? Not that I've seen. Is there something clickable on the shelf above you? No. Hmm. Wow, I really can't see that. Maybe my screen is just dark. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's very hard to I'm, I'm still sort of guessing it myself, but it, it does seem like there's something back there. Yeah, I know. It's, a, lot, a lot of these shelves have one bottle that is facing out, and I've clicked on it, but I don't think it, they do anything. Stats looked into the future and is now mad. Is it something like really dumb that we would never figure out? You probably just missed something, right? If there's a crowbar on the floor, I swear to God. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Do we have all of the inventory items we need, Stod? You're our Watson. We don't, okay. No, we don't. Okay, we let's... need a mummy. <laughs> Summon the mummy. Summon? The mummy! <laughs> I keep clicking off the fucking thing. Missing two, two items. items. Okay. Okay, well, I'm looking for more bottles. Giant fancy house, would you have oh. a wine cellar? Something. Oh. Terrain. <gasps> okay. What'd you say? If you had a giant fancy house, would you have a wine cellar? And I'll say they're the same item, but that wasn't it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> that wasn't it! Um. If. Uh. Oh. So you are getting more bottles somehow. Oh, or is it like the is it like the books? Are you like sorting them? Are you switching, replacing them? Yeah, but the he can't. He's not like. I, yeah, I, these also, don't look for, different for, to me. For a guy that wouldn't carry two books at a time, he's <laughs> carrying like six bottles of wine in his pocket. Oh, uh, I can make these lighter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just. Oh. What am I possibly over now? What and where did it? it oh okay i have a, another page suddenly whoa rag okay well now you're definitely making a. now you're definitely making a yeah yeah there we go torch okay i need another rag probably rag cocktail do we need to use a rag to see back there in the dark yeah maybe i don't like feeling around in the dark make me a fire rag Stop. Why does he need two of them? I w one might not be enough. Oh, is there like a place they go? Is there a slot? Jesus, what even happened? Probably. I need to find another rag here. Okay, a rag. Oh, maybe I saw it. Where? If you go back to your previous view. Uh huh, and it's going to be on the right, bottom right. Keep turning. Is that it? Uh, now it's oh, now it's at the top. Oh no, that might be the edge of a wine bottle. Um, yeah, I think it was the edge of a wine bottle. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. Stud. We still found it though. It, we keep missing things on the floor. I know. Well, it's so annoying to look. Like yeah. at these traps. Sand. Let's see. I do with just one. Great. You, this, now I have. Right. I'm just <laughs> yeah, it's first. true. 
Like if you're going to build a wine cellar, add a couple light switches. We know you have electricity in the rest of the house. Oh, sorry, Ash, I had to use gin because that's the most flammable of them. So hold on. Obviously. Okay, now I got a torch. I only have one though. Can I put it somewhere? Whoa. Wait, did I get a new meter just now? Yeah, what is happening? What's this what thing? Oh my god, am I gonna... Okay, hold on, we gotta fucking save it. Am I gonna, like, waste the light if we don't do this in time? Yeah, it is time we're combining things in. Inventory. Yes, it is. I thought it was, like, a life meter, like, you're gonna have to fight the, the mummy. <laughs> That'd be kind of great. Okay. I like this other torch. Uh, I thought so, but I just lit this thing and now I have a new meter. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to try it's a few things. It's the patience meter and it is running <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, a okay. ghost bottle appeared. One of them fits. House of Darkly's not in Lidge of French wines will save us. Okay. I'm a little upset, especially if I can run out of light. Well, also, did that torch do anything? Like, it doesn't look different. No. Yeah. I got. Is so are you making a joke, or is that literally the patience meter? Maybe it's number of patients we need. To did you find light. the instructions to this stupid game? Okay. Okay, I'm running out Seth, of bottles. we're gonna need you to tell us every time it's a joke. Can you just like put Can a you, joke? I don't understand in? your humor, Stod. <laughs> oh, good, you got a third bottle, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I just have to. Okay. Maybe you have to put. Because you have a second bottle. page now too. No, not anymore. Oh, no, you don't I, anymore. Well, I ran out. Of, I I released. Oh, got it. I reduced the number of things in my inventory. Got it. Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, oh. this just had to be the right order. Oh, it's maybe it's this one. I bet it, yeah, I bet it's not the empty one. <gasps> oh. Ryan, it's your favorite slide puzzle. This is gonna bring me back down to earth where I like to be. Okay, it's click, click, ASMR. Uh, these are the ground parts. Yeah. Not the right, Good. no, that's the top. No, that's the ground, that's through their feet. Oh, you're right. You had all three, you had all three feet, right? I think they're in the wrong order though. Yeah, there they go. Right? Oh, I see now, yeah, yeah, correct. You're right, this guy really did build a weird house. <laughs> I mean, we were warned before that there would be traps. I would say that these are not traps. These are obnoxious puzzles. Yeah, I haven't felt but, I haven't felt trapped so much as annoyed. <laughs> now I better use a long stick to poke that, I guess. <laughs> Maybe now you need the torch. God damn it. What did it do? Maybe it opened something else. Did a wall open? Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Well, it, it looked like a button, but nothing happened. Yeah. Can you, yeah, look around and see what's what's up. It did unlock. Something moved. <gasps> what was the point of that torch? Wait, so we're just, that was it? We're in a whole different room? Yeah. Was that where he came from? I don't even know. Wow. Oh, yeah, okay, this is where he came from. I'm a little bit upset. Maybe you're still gonna need that torch later. Did the yeah. torch disappear from your inventory? No, but it's running. This something is running out here. Oh no! It's your oxygen. <laughs> you know what? Maybe. I'm saving a whole new save. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We've done, guys. We've been here before. There's boxes with keys. There's sprockets. There's definitely a wardrobe that's going to have something inside of it. Stott, if you can find out what this blue meter is, I would love that. 
he has no vision into the future at this point, but... Yeah, I know, but maybe a specific Google search would help. Use your... Is it that the torch, torch meter? It is a torch meter. Okay. We missed... Do we have... Is the other rag in that room that we came from? Oh, there's torches here. Why can't we just light that torch on fire again? Okay. Uh, okay, but don't light it. Okay. Uh... What about that rag? Where? I thought there was one on the table. There's not. There's not. Oh, no, we, can't, we can't be reading these things right now. Ashley, stop bothering me. It's locked! Oh, so you can't go back. No, you can't go back. You can't go back. You just can't go forward. Okay, if you turn to your right. Okay, or, or if you pick up that chair and, like, dance around it's, a little it's bit. It's so annoying! <laughs> now, is can you use that rag? What? Yeah, now you can move a chair. We needed that with the what, fan. What am I doing? What is this? You, you seem unable to put the chair I, down. I don't, I don't mean to alarm you. But it feels like you've gotten a little bit out of control. You've picked the chair up, Sherlock, and it feels like I just need you to put it down. I d <laughs> Sir? Sir, I need you to put Sir? that chair down. <laughs> now, can you use the chair as a torch? Light it on fire. Uh huh. So, can you use it to smash that case in? I mean, I guess we have to use it <laughs> instead of putting it down. How far can you walk around with it? Nowhere. We all want to get out of here. <laughs> Don't do anything you're going to regret, okay, Ryan? I'm taking a real turn on this game, Frogwares. <laughs> Do you think this is the part they sued their licensing company? Yeah. They're like, how did you let us do this? <laughs> What's your name, son? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. I tell you what. There we go. It goes over there for some reason. Okay, we'll come back to that. Well, because you have to use it to peek in that hole, probably. I but, said okay, for some a... reason. <laughs> isn't there a long mummy rag on that? You know what? Forget about it. <laughs> no, because Stott says that it's in, it's in this original room. by the wine rack. Oh. And by wine rack, we mean shelves. Let me just quickly open Microsoft Flight Simulator and guide my head around like a biplane a little more. Our meter is doing okay. Can you walk more to the corner? That's okay, Stad. We have a shared wine language now. We understand each other. <laughs> you know, we had a hard time with this first Sherlock Holmes game, but we developed a bond that can never be broken. <laughs> it was a shared love of wine. <laughs> Video game wine. Can that mattress just be a rag? <laughs> what if that's the case? Can't the game use its brain a little bit? Anything's a rag if you believe hard enough. Take off your coat. That could be a rag. If only it would let us pick up all of those costumes I wanted it to pick up. <laughs> then we would have so many rags right now. Oh, is that it? What? No, that's a, that's a trick of the light. It's oh, a trick of the light. Oh, yeah, yeah, Get yeah, excited. Yeah. Don't okay, worry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, the game got annoying right as it introduced a time limit, and that was a bad <laughs> combination. I know. No one no one gives Ryan to Georgie a time limit. Absolutely not. <laughs> Without giving him all the tools to accomplish the task. It's up here. Stodd says he believes it's between two shelves, which also kind of sounds like a proverb or sort of like the thing you seek is always between two shelves. 
Yeah, I mean, that is true. So maybe it's not on the floor. Maybe it's wedged into something. I mean, the last one I picked up, I literally couldn't see what I was picking up as I was looking at the hand. Yeah. Dad says good luck. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Wait, what was his tone, though? <laughs> Good luck. There, there's a lot of exclamation points, but it is lowercase. Is he saying that because he's like, I'm done with this? <laughs> yeah, he's leaving. Okay, he's going to bed. Bye, Dad. Um, uh, I don't know how to help you search for the rag. No, I know. I mean, I don't know that I'm there's... I'm keeping my eyes open. The first one I think we found here. On... Yeah, Didn't it we? In, it was in, like, the dark. You were, like, standing on it, practically. I was over um, here. Same place, but other side. Okay, well, I thought I did, but let's look over here. Oh, oh I see. This sort of pegboard is, is where you found the first one. Yeah. Yeah, it was in that dark hole. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, so let's reload the game. Okay, I'll go back here. Oh, I see. So your meter's back. Right. Ooh, getting the tricks of the of the video game trade. That's right. This is they only teach you this in the professional class. Wow, this is really opening up my my avenues. Okay. Now get out. I'm not gonna light it. Be cool, Ryan. This, 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 and this. What are you doing? Be cool. Is it gin first? That was the empty bottle. Oh. Where's my the gin? gin is the dark one, which makes no sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, well maybe... Yeah, make it later. Hey, buddy! Make it later! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Whoops. Get out of there. Okay. Now... Okay. Now we'll save. Now, whatever you do, don't pick up a chair. <laughs> All right, we'll get this key. Just trust me on this. <laughs> <laughs> that is the code of 2021. <laughs> See, you can tell Ashley knows how to manage me. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Lord wow. seems to be really interested in the esoteric and mysticism. I see here a book called The Book of Sacred Magic, Isis Unveiled and Imblavat. Lord Will you tell what he said? Really oh wait, this being came back. The esoteric and mysticism. Isis Unveiled. Not spelled right. The Book of Sacred Magic, Isis Unveiled and Imblavat. That's also not what he's what that said. So uh, there's a sacred book, a magic book. Yeah, he found a magic book. He's into curses. Sure. Uh, he wishes to have this curse reverse. He'll I, be a certain I have a great curse. place for this chair to go. <laughs> now can you peek in that hole? Yeah. Put that I swear down. If you can pick up a lantern at this point, <laughs> you're going to be upset. Why wouldn't it, I pick it up? If you unveil a light switch, <laughs> I'm going to be pretty angry. Okay, so you picked up a key? Yeah. Do you have two keys now? It's yeah. It's locked. It's locked. He's going to have to locked. tell you again, right? It's, it's locked. locked. It's, it, 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 it's locked. Okay. It, 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 it's locked. Right, neither well, of those. Maybe we need to do more exploring in the room. We haven't even made our second torch yet. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Dave, we are still here and ready to go. Dave, the most important thing you should know is that we've introduced a timer, which apparently is counting down the amount of time we have for a torch. <gasps>
right, that'll do it for another episode. Of I didn't even know we could die in this game. Neither did I. <laughs> Well, of course you of course you blew up. You've been carrying around like eight bottles of liquor in your coat for an hour. <laughs> and and a lit torch. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? What did you do to make did you accidentally make a bomb? I put the two keys in the desk drawer and opened it. But guess what, Ash? This mansion is full of traps. <laughs> oh, <sighs> I think that's a perfect place to stop for this episode of Sibling Game Night. I'm so baffled by that. That's, it's outstanding. There's, there's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we saved, we saved the, close by. You did save. I love the idea that the <sighs> owner of the mansion was like, I know just what they'll do. They'll put these two keys in this box, but that'll be the end of them. <laughs> That's exactly what I expect them and want them to do. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes blew himself up. <laughs> and, and has clipped that moment and labeled it, oops. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Oh. Um, okay. Listen. I'm speechless. I got a little mad at the chair. I want to apologize. Things got a little heated. <laughs> I was not happy about the rag situation. That's understandable. It's understandable. <laughs> the, then, you know, I, then I blew up a desk. Just when you got that meter up. That's you put the sad two keys thing. Drawer, you blew up the desk. I wonder what happens if I make a save and then we didn't have, we ran out of time. Like, would it just be like we were stuck forever? Yeah, can you go back to your save and see what it looks like real quick? Well, I can. My my save now is is it's just gonna be the same one I just loaded. Oh, I see. Yeah. But like, what if I say if we saved? Whoop! Well, the game crashed completely. <laughs> ah, the mansion is full of traps. <laughs> wow. Oh god. Now, do you think now we're cursed? Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling it, aren't you? It feels like we, this is like a ring situation. We got the curse of the mummy. Yeah. I think that this weekend we're both going to die in a, in a desk explosion. <laughs> Guys, this is important. Anyone listening, if either of us die by fire, <laughs> you'll know why. Please oh. show this clip to the proper authorities. Um, oh, frog wares. Yeah. What have you done to us? Oh. <sighs> I mean, that's great. There's no better way for that to have ended. <laughs> that finally promised the tracks. Well, this is I exciting. Can't believe that... I can't believe the track the trap came after you just put two keys in a drawer. Yeah. It wasn't like, I've got to carefully measure this mummy skull. Uh-uh. It was just like, and then there was a big button that said turn. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's what I expected you to do. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Um, still enjoying the game. I feel like uh, we've hit a. Are you Ryan? We've Are hit you? a somewhat <laughs> frustrating section. I don't like time limits. No. Especially in a game this this weird and esoteric. It was a surprise time limit. Yes. And it didn't uh, make I any did... sense. I didn't know you could die. Um. No, I didn't know either. I yeah, I I I didn't know either. Um, so far, I say I'll give it three exploding deaths out of five, and it may redeem itself and get a better score. Um, but the combination of not being able to move the mouse where I want it to go, this the two invisible rags that don't exist to the human yeah. eye. Yeah. A lit torch, carrying 70 bottles of antique wine around, and none of them do anything. <laughs> uh, a shelf you can't see. A sh an invisible shelf. Uh, and then uh, and <laughs> just the chair was the last straw. <laughs> I don't know. I sort of think the piece de resistance was that they gave you 
as I think House of Darkly said, an atmospheric oil lamp yeah. that you clearly could find, but not pick up or light. <laughs> yeah, it's just sitting there like, oh, well, wouldn't you like to use this? Oh, my gosh. That was fun. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm so I'm actually like really oddly more excited now that I know that it can go this badly. Yes. But I didn't know that we could make a mistake and die. Yes. I can't um, wait to explode some more deaths. I know. Let's. We should do it one more time, um, for for old time's sake. Here, hold on. Let's see. Um, let's see. If it I should can... come up with like a newspaper clipping that was like Sherlock Holmes self immutilated or whatever the word is. Where do you catch yourself on fire? Emulation. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have to resize this every time. I should use. Use Sizer, a program I like that I should use for this. Okay, hold on. You know what's fun, Ryan? Aspect hmm. ratios. God, it's so fun. <laughs> You're so right. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, where's your future vision now, Stud? Yeah, I know. You were so, so useful before. Uh, oh, okay. Where did it bring you back to? Oh, okay, so you have that key. Yeah, I loaded my last save, so I have the torch. Uh, the rag, I just you got haven't the chair. moved the chair yet. No, no. Careful. All right, so I had two keys. Here was my thought process. I had two keys. <laughs> yeah, walk me through it, Ryan. And then I walked over here and I saw that there was a desk drawer. Now, just real quick before oh, look, you do that. two keys. <laughs> yeah. Just real quick before you do that, will you go out for a second? Because I don't want to, like, rub your face in it, but if you turn around, there seems to be a whole table of rags. Like, that's one long mummy rag. I know. I saw it. I saw it, but I can't do anything with it. Well, maybe I can. It's just what I thought. These new bandages are just like the ones we found before. It's just what I thought. All right, so show me where'd you, where you put the keys in. Don't find more clues, Ryan. Oh, D this is the equals to clockwise, that S equals counterclockwise at the same time. Because there was an S and a D on the desk. Or you will be dead. <laughs> I mean, they gave me all the clues, Mr. Policeman. <laughs> I don't know, wait. Where's the D? In There's, I see the D, I don't see the S. Where's you the see D? see the D on the right, the right hand one? Oh, I guess it's not. It's just a circle. I just looked like a D to me in, in the... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, on the right... Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, these buttons do stuff. Okay. Oh. Well, don't do it now, because I want to see you die again. Right. I don't remember if I've... Okay. Yeah, there we go. Well, I guess I'll just open up. Oh, <laughs> Sherlock has failed. Sherlock has failed. So that's something Trying. we have to understand and be okay with. Well, Ash, it was a great fun as always. I suggest we meet again next week for part three of Sherlock Holmes and the Mystery of the Mummy. Can't wait. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm glad Dave came back right at, to see enough to see that. And uh, we will beat this game yet. We're on level three. So we're doing a level per episode. We should have two more left, basically. I hope you all have a five out of five exploding desks kind of weekend. Same here. Bye, guys. Bye.